Good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning, Jody. I'm doing good. I just woke up about 20 minutes ago. Very first cup of coffee. I had it scheduled for five, but I was wanting to go on a four. So I didn't know if I was going to wake up time. So sometimes I do sleep in to four. Sometimes I get up at two. Uh, morning, Nate. Oh, y'all get your coffee. Hope everybody wakes up and has a great day today. Oh, let's see. Oh, hope everybody, yeah, uh, hope everybody has a great day today. Awesome. Oh. Trying to get motivated myself. Here in about 10 minutes, a cup, cup of coffee, and I'll be ready to roll. Uh, oh, I know Jody's up early this morning. Of course, when Jody's at, I think it's five o'clock. Uh, Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, Jody said first suckers. <laughs> Go right there. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get motivated myself this morning. I'm supposed to sell my truck this morning. Let's see if he shows up. Ew. Then what are you going to do? Ride a bicycle? <laughs> you sell your truck, how are you going to pull your punt team? Oh. I was really hoping you get to sell your house, but. I wouldn't take it off the market if you really want to sell it. Just leave it on there. Somebody will buy it. I have an explorer. Oh, that's right. I remember you do have an explorer, don't you? I didn't know you had a spare van. There you go. The spare van. Make it your, make an old fishing van out of it. <laughs> uh, today, I got to go down to my Hey, honey and stuff. Good morning. I uh, had to go down to babysit my youngest granddaughter. My grandson's got a field trip and my daughter's going with him. So I'll be down there today babysitting her. And tomorrow I got therapy at seven. Is that right? Seven o'clock. Friday, tomorrow. Yep, seven. And then I'll be headed to Kentucky to catch Skipjack. That's the plan anyway. Plans change, but. So that's my game plan. And I think uh, tomorrow is Jody's catfish uh, flathead challenge. Y'all want to tune in for that. Watch that one. If I keep my house to January 1st, I get an extra 77K profit. I want this long. What? Eight more months. Yeah, that's true. Eight months, that kind of money. I'd wait to. Can't say I'm blaming you on that one. Hey, morning, Double J. Got to have that coffee. Yeah, Jody catches some big fish. When she's on her pontoon, she does. Catches fishes from Jane's book, too, but she's on that pontoon, boy. She, something about that pontoon, she catches some big ones on the pontoon. I sold my boat, so I'm hoping to get a pontoon. But I got, I got months of recovery time for this right here, so I'm not in that big hurry. I uh, hope y'all can hear me good out there. 
Let's see here. I'm selling the truck to get to from which is better, the truck or the or the explorer. I mean which do you like better is the question. I know to get a good trolling motor and them things ain't cheap. I've looked them up. Anything with a spot lock on it's well over a thousand bucks. Oh good lord. The one I've been looking at, it was a 36 volt. It was like almost three grand. I, said, I can't afford that. That's no way. <laughs> I'm on my phone, so I don't know how to pin the streaming on link. So. I like the truck best, but the Explorer has half the miles the truck has. I can understand that. Because I think I've seen you pull the pontoon with the Explorer. Maybe when your truck messed up or something. Truck has half the miles. And six years newer. <laughs> Yeah, that would make a pretty good difference there. That my that Dodge Challenger I got up there, it's getting fixed. It's 2019, bought new, and uh, it's only got 89,000 miles on it. That sucker's a good looking car. That won't we'll get rid of it. Then I get it fixed, it's gone. Hate that too, because that thing's fast, boy. That thing's fast. Yeah, Jody, if you don't buy it, you know, you got that. Flathead Challenge coming up Friday. You can drop that link if you want to. That way everybody knows, which everybody does know anyway. But you have that every Friday night. Which is pretty usually a, a pretty awesome show. <laughs> every time you watch it. Yeah, I imagine 10 miles to a gallon. <coughs> Isn't that four-wheel drive, too? I think it's four-wheel drive, ain't it? Uh, I thought that was four-wheel drive. My dog's laying over at the floor asleep. Oh, it's early in the morning, ain't it? Uh, must have slept wrong last night. Something for my foot's hurting. Oh, we. Oh, God, get some more coffee here in a minute. <laughs> coffee, got to get that coffee. Hey, y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share it out, and let people know that we are live this morning. And we get some more people in here. We'll get the chat rolling, and we get this party started. Yeah. We're just the early birds that brings all the goodies. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, hold that thought right there. I gotta get some more coffee. I gotta get woke up. For my bug man, I gotta get woke up for once. Oh. 
Oh, we got honey and stuff. What's your biggest catfish so far, Jody? Is it a 63? I don't know. I might be mistaken. I know she got some giant flatheads. Oh, those Ace got shared. Good morning, Melissa. Melissa, I'm so, so sorry to hear about your puppy. I really am. I know what it's like to have one that long and, and it passed away. Hope you had a hog leg do good. Thanks a lot, Double J, for sharing it out. I thought that was a 63 pound blue, and that was just caught recently. Yeah, he's not suffering no more. That's 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 the good thing about it. But still, you're gonna miss his little butt running around there for a while. I still think of I still think of Lexi every once in a while. Remember the good times I had when I, when I taught her how to play fetch and put it in my hand and and run with it. Good morning, Bug Man. Hey, what's up? Uh, just trying to get this morning started. Oh, I agree. I just just waking up actually, man. My Darn dog and little cat woke me up this morning. It was 3.20. <clears throat> I thought it said 5.20. <clears throat> huh. So I get up, take him out, go to the bathroom, get a Red Bull, come here and sit down, turn on the laptop, open it, and it says 3.25 or something around there. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I went back to bed. <laughs> get the heck out of here. Good morning, Jay Stuff. It it has rained all night long here, literally. Really? Yeah, I I can't wait for the sun to come up so I can see out back. I'm sure it's all flooded out there. It has rained hard a lot of times, not continuous. Can I do this chat right here? Let me see. Melissa said, "Good morning, buggy." Yeah, I had to schedule four, and I changed it to five just in case I overslept her by some chance. Then I woke up. I said, looked up there, and it was like two o'clock. And I said, I'll oh, forget this. And I fell back to sleep. Woke up, looked. It was almost four. And I said, I ah, get up. Well, shoot, you good. Jody says she might possibly have her truck sold today. Her truck? Oh, yeah. really? I didn't know that. She was selling it. What well, year I, is it? I knew here back a while back. It wasn't too long ago. She was thinking about selling it or going to try to sell it. But Yeah, it's good to see Melissa this morning. Yes, it is. We got so much rain here on that long, still raining storms. Yeah, it's called for rain here today, too, Jay Stuff. Today. Yeah, it literally has, I mean, it's literally rained all night. I went to the dollar store at 7, and it had been raining for about an hour, you know, but not pouring where you can't see raining but raining and then yeah i had to take the dog out and the little guy on the leash yesterday last night before bed because he wasn't going out in the rain but I, if i take him on a leash he'll go out so i had to yeah. go out in the rain take the dog out in the rain <laughs> Yeah, Melissa, we miss you guys. Man, I'm so sorry about your puppy, honey. Believe me, I know the pain you're in right now.
Yeah, you know, so I was telling her I had one. Uh, Lexi, it was a it was a tall Chihuahua, long hair Chihuahua, and uh, and we had her for almost sixteen years. And man, uh, she went blind. She went blind, and she got uh, outside in some extreme heat. Had a stroke. And we had to have her put down. I mean, it, really? Yeah. And oh, I, I told her every night, and I said, "You'll have fond memories every night." And oh, that dog. I mean, you'll miss that little pattern running around. <laughs> but it'll be just fond memories that make you smile. JCT. I share from J&J. &J. Awesome. Thank you. <coughs> no, Melissa, I'll have, to, I'll have to go watch that. I'm like Bugman. Half the time, I don't get notifications if people do anything. So I'll scroll through and look. And I said, well, look here. I didn't even get a notification on this. Yeah, JCT, welcome in. Well, Buggy, did you get your Red Bulls? Yeah, I got some. I'm, I got to go get it. I just, oh, I'm trying to get going. You know how it is after you. You're asleep real good, and you get woke up, and then you lay back down for a couple hours, and you kind of just can't get going again. So I'm working yeah. on it. Well, JCT, we're just uh, morning show fill in for Hoglade, the Boar's Nest, and uh, while well, he's on vacation, and and we're just trying to help out. That's what we do, and we just morning morning talk shows all we are. We like to have fun, joke around, talk about all different things. Release Lost, Lost Star, Old Red and Melissa. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, Buggy, I'm going to help Buggy out more, but I can't. With my schedule, uh, I can only it's do it. Fine. I think we've been managing pretty decent, man, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh man, my stomach hurts today for some reason. It's not much of vacation. We just need it this time. Yeah, we know. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh Jay Stubb said they've recently lost our old red. Oh man. Sorry to hear that too. I know I joke around with, with Abby over here. She could be uh, have an honorary spell, and and people say, "Well, we need to get you need to get another dog." And I said, "No, I'm waiting on this one to die." <laughs> and I joke around, but it, if she actually does, I'd probably miss the heck out of her. Oh, well, sure, sure. And she usually goes everywhere I go. She's a big dog. She likes to ride. Yeah, humans learn so much from dogs about unconditional love. Man, dogs are the greatest example there is of unconditional love. They're yep. always happy to see you. Always. There's one room she don't go into, and that's our bedroom. I can have the door open, be laying in bed, and she'll come up to the door and stand there and look, see if I'm in bed, then lay there in the doorway. And if my door's closed, she'll get off the couch, look for me, and she realizes I'm in the bed, she'll lay there in the dining room all night long. Ooh, shingles. Oh, yeah, I got that shot, too, Melissa. I've, I've never had the shot, but I've had shingles once. I did a tribute video on my channel. And I got to go look and see why my notifications ain't coming through. I get a few, but I don't get a bunch like I used to. Seven-week-old white German Shepherd. Man, she said my arm hurts like crazy. I know I was headed to I was on Bugman's Live yesterday morning. I was headed right up to the edge of town here on <laughs> pulled up there and I seen a dog laying. I thought it was dead. And I pulled up there and then it got up. <laughs> it was raining, it got up and it was sitting slowly looking at me. Somebody dropped it off and it was where he was laying, it was dry, and it was a perfect 
how he was laying. You could tell it was a dog laying there. <laughs> I never got a chop for the shingles. They give me pills to get rid of mine. I have them. The shots to keep you from getting them. When I was in the army, I was in the army and we were going to get ready to go to Germany. And I was a radio teletype operator and I was in class. Well, you get this shot, and they tell you about how bad it hurts. No, so I'm dreading this shot, and I go in. It's a little bit needle, and they give you this shot. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm sitting there typing, and about two hours later, my arm just drops, and well, and you cannot raise. I couldn't raise it up or nothing. You're like, ah, you get your shot, yeah, you better go back to the barracks. And it hurt so bad for about eighteen hours. And it had like wow. it all looked almost like a pimple, and I said, "No, don't pop that. Don't mess with it. Just leave it be." But it hurt so bad. Right. Yeah. I forget what it was for, but I only had it one time. Like you said, I got the single points, and I went to the doctor because I didn't know what it was, and she said, "Don't scratch it. Don't mess with it." And she, they gave me pills. And I took them. Yeah. That, if you if you can get a shingle shot for free, do it. I had to watch my dad go through it, and that stuff's gnarly, man. I'm just now getting this arm working again. I don't think I want to lose be paid. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's like a mix between chicken pox and poison ivy, I think, is what I would say it is. And it's it's and it gets all over you. I don't mind me, JCP. Yeah. Yeah, JC. I'm not big. I'm not big on any any vaccines neither. But the shingles one's been around for a while, a long time. And uh, otherwise, I don't take any neither, brother. Believe me. But after seeing my dad go through it. And they offered it to me at the VA for free when I went one day, and I was like, "Yes, I didn't even hesitate." Yeah. No, it's yeah. not like the the freaking COVID nineteen vaccine been around about eight months, and they tell you there's no after effects. <laughs> so really, how do you know there ain't no after effects? You lying pieces of crap. Yeah, I've, I've <laughs> never had the shot. I never had none of those shots. <laughs> I've had my vaccines when I was growing up, but. I've never had a flu shot. Yeah, I, when I had chicken pox, I just had a little bit, like a few little places. My brother, he got ate up with it. When he had chicken pox, it was all over. Yeah. Oh, where you at, JC? And they always ask me when I go to the doctor, you had your flu shot, your COVID shot? Nope, don't want them. Ugh. Damn, 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 damn. No, you're not. No, if you never had chicken pox, you're going to have shingles probably. <laughs> they just ain't caught you yet. <laughs> I had no idea what it was, to be honest with you, until Dad. I'd heard of it before, you know what I mean, but I couldn't have told you what it would look like, what it does, or anything what like that. It? I, you know, I had I had no idea what it was. Even I never even asked anyone. I just heard the term before. Yeah. Yeah, we just talk about everything and anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to talk about fishing four hours, five days a week. But yeah, there's a lot of other shows out there that, that could do that. <laughs> this we is, do talk about fishing sometimes because yeah, this is more of a family fishing, that you, we get you excited. can get anything with, man. There's a lot of support in this community, and they're good people. Hey, there's Brutal Bob. Good morning, Brutal Bob. Good morning, Fish Channel. How's that hand doing today, Brutal Bob? How's that hands doing? 
Oh no, JC, we're not attacking you, brother. We're just explaining to you what the, what what we're about, brother. We're, no attack at all, man. Please don't take it that way. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're just trying. We're just explaining to you that that even though technically it says fishing, <laughs> we talk. Just be glad they're not talking about farts today or feet, because it goes into farts and feet, everything you can imagine. Yeah, everything. Are you not a bro? I'm sorry. Are you a woman? I apologize. But anyway, yeah, no, there's no one attacking you. No. Sometimes they pick a topic in the chat and we run with it. <laughs> and then yeah, sometimes I put my foot in my mouth, didn't I? <laughs> we 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 cover all the bases of everything. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <sighs> Yeah, farts are good ones too. They're funny. You can't talk about farts without giggling. I forget. We were talking. I was talking to someone the other day about something that happens. Every time it happens, I giggle a little bit. Even since I was a kid, I can't remember what it was. It's nothing big or something, but I just giggle all the time, you know, to myself inside when it happens. And then you ever remember when I was a kid, if you'd find a penny on the ground, You'd always say, find a penny, pick it up all the day. You'll have good luck. Yeah. Every time I see a penny to this day, I pick it up and I say that to myself in my head. And I can't not do it. I don't know why, but every time I see a penny, I'll pick it up. And I'll say to myself in my head, find a penny, pick it up all the day. You'll have good luck. And I put it in my pocket. I see a penny on the ground. I say, oh, look here. 99 more cents. I got a dog. <laughs> yeah. And it's amazing. People just walk past them like it's nothing. You know what I mean? It's just a penny it ain't worth nothing. Well, yeah, I, I pick them up every time. Oh, I tell you what. Drop all the pennies you want, I'll pick them up. They add I'll up. walk right behind you all day and throw in my change jar, and when that jar gets full, I'll go to the the coin machine and dump them in there. Yep, more Jimmy. Last time I took that jar in, had change and stuff, and I think it, it had $284. In. It wasn't all pennies or nothing, you know what I mean, but just I throw my change in there when I come home. Yeah. Do you really so, miss it? Yep. It, it's just something from when I was a kid. I wish I could remember what it was. I was talking to someone about it yesterday. Yeah. I think about that. It so, makes me giggle yeah. myself. Now we all know when she's out there on that pontoon and she's got to do it. She'll turn the camera mic off and go behind the camera and it just barely squeaks out. <laughs> then she comes back on camera and starts giggling <laughs> yep she can snore when she's sleeping on the boat she gets us to dreaming about Fernando <laughs> man it has rained so much I, there, I, I'm not going to be able even if it quits right now there's nothing I can do outside today yeah I'm just glad I got the yard mowed yesterday or the day before. I mean, yeah, for, you know, <laughs> that's that's going way back, ain't it? Fernando, <laughs> I heard her part there, but she can store the roof off. Listen, yep, flooded out here. Yeah, it, yeah, y'all got a lot of rain down that way, didn't you? Kind of just mainly misty rain here that sprinkled, and I think it might have came a little downpour for about a few minutes. But other than that, it it, it sprinkled about all day. Dale say, "Pontoon Jody, good morning." Uh, I want to go get me that cup of coffee, man. I still gotta get, I get about third cup of coffee, and then I start waking up. Hmm. I know we's uh, what was it, look, man? Was it yesterday morning, day before? I just wanted y'all to hear my dog snoring. She was over cutting some logs, boy. Yeah. What's that? You know. Uh, 
none of my dog snore that I have right now. You know what I mean? I've always, all, all my other dogs I've had snore, but Tilly and the little guy, neither of them snore. Yeah. They said, Buggy, it's going to be windy out today. Uh, hey, I looked at my radar in weather deal, and for the next few days, we're supposed to be in like 40 mile an hour gust winds. I'm like, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be in some high winds. And, uh, and that being around water ain't going to be a good combination with them white caps. That's for sure. Said, oh, yeah. You, joking about now. If you're going out on a lake, just be smart. You don't want to go out. If you, if you see white caps and you go out and you're in an uh, average size boat, you're probably not doing the right thing. Right, here's a, don't be a clan to turn around. Ace could snore like it's hoggy, but the female, she's always, she's a little deal. She does the snore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I just, I, I haven't even thought about that until just now. Because, in fact, they're probably the only dogs I've ever had in my life that didn't snore. <laughs> JCT, just hang around long enough, you'll get to know them. <laughs> We're pretty good people. We've got a lot of good folks in here. JCT, and, uh, I followed you or I subbed to your channel and gave you a thumbs up on the the community with the little fire there, honey. And I apologize for calling you, dude. I didn't know. Okay. And and please, please hang around. You'll see there there's these are good people here. Uh, Salt of the earth kind of people that if you have a problem, they're more than willing to lend an ear. Yeah. 80 degrees. Yeah, it's supposed to get up 80s around here, and I'm like next week, and I'm like Phew. Man, I wish it make its mind up what it's going to do. You know? Melissa, I don't call them callers when I get put them on my dogs. I tell them, look, you got a new necklace today. <laughs> Little guy, look, I got you a new necklace. <laughs> Man, I was so tired by bedtime yesterday. I got home and I forget the nurse lady came for pop and I don't know what was but I was just exhausted and couldn't hardly stay awake to get dinner done. Yeah. And then I watched Mark's show last night. Was it Panfish Nation or whatever it is last night? And then I went to bed. <laughs> so, Jason, that could be a good thing. JCT, everyone in here, everyone in here are great people. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Jody. There's the link. And they says speed limit, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No speeding today, especially if it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> I got a feeling my yard's flooded again. He said speed limit, Joe. That reminds me of that cartoon, uh, Christmas cartoon, Nestor, the, the donkey. It says, here's Nestor. Jody. <laughs> morning, Uncle Lou. Good morning, Uncle Lou. Is it raining over there, Uncle Lou? I'm I probably get getting what you had the other day, I guess, yesterday or whatever, because it's pouring. Hey, give me some more coffee. Red Bull. Oh, I know. I got to go to Walmart today. That's what I got to do. I got to go grocery shopping. The money hit the bank yesterday, so... We're out of crap. I gotta go get stuff. Like, I gotta go get everything, actually. Oh. JC, I was in the Army, but a long, long time ago, it was 1983 when I joined. Uh, and the job I'd done that didn't even exist now. Uh, it was a radio teletype operator, which is the communications. 
and now I work for myself. I'm a real estate appraiser, but for the last oh, five or six years, I've been taking care of my parents. My father has cancer. And my mom is going blind. So I don't get to work as much as I would like to right now. But every now and then I'll get to do an appraisal. Well, J. Steve, me, well, I fish for a living. Or I could say that. But today I'm going down babysit for a living. I got to watch my granddaughter today. <laughs> Why, Uncle Lou, it's not raining on your couch? <laughs> Boy, look at my pictures all just messed up that actually looks good right here don't do nothing it was looking fine on our end <laughs> you knucklehead <laughs> Buggy, you're a hero. i think dad he throws his stool softeners away or something because he gets constipated on he takes a lot of opioids right now yeah, but Uncle Lou, you're getting there. You done had the cast pulled off, got your staples out, got your new cast on. Next step is whatever they told you. This is why who Russie just picked. <laughs> Next one, yep. You know. I, Uncle Lou, man, the worst part is pain. Pain sucks so bad. And like when I had my knee replacement or whatever, I'd always tell myself, it, it gets better every day, man. Just hang in there. It gets better every day. Whether mm -hmm. it does or not, I would tell myself that. Look at it this way. You're you're having to miss all this unusual weather, weird weather we're having. By the time you get up and run around, uh, weather should be lined out. And just think you get to pay someone to mow your yard right now. Still... I got to work it. It stiffens up and I got to work it. If I work my shoulder, it loosens up. I can move more and more. I can't believe they let you move it so much already. I just can't believe that. Heck, mine was in a sling for three months, I know of. Yeah. Man, I am all plugged up today. The trees have bloomed. My knee is titanium. It hurts every day. Wow. Yeah, I can. They took me out two weeks early out of my sling. JC, and, uh, really, your your replacement, your knee replacement hurts still. That's that's interesting. I think I get ghost pain in mine where I think it hurts, and I think it's in my head, but it doesn't hurt like like it did when I before I got it replaced. I guess I should say before I got it replaced, I couldn't walk out to the mailbox and back without starting to limp and hardly, you know, by the time I'd get back to the house, I'd barely be able to walk. Yeah, but as far as my arm goes, uh, right now they're working on uh, getting me stretched to the back where I can reach around behind my back and scratch my back or something. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. Whereas that muscle is, when that when they try to pull that muscle's tight, yeah. very, very tight. <laughs> it's about like trying to take a rope, wrap it around your hands and pull on it. <laughs> that's how tight yep. it is. Where I still, even Not today, much. I can't. I can't reach back behind my back very well. I still can't lift up nothing real heavy with it because if I do, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, JC, no way, really. Oh, man. Goodness man, gracious. Man. <laughs> JC, I have a cousin was driving up the interstate 3 o'clock in the morning and someone was stopped in the middle of the interstate in the lane. He hit them running 70. And they were in a dead stop. Crushed my, it was my cousin crushed his feet, literally crushed them. And fortunately, there are some really miraculous surgeons, the guys that do like the Indy 500 drivers and stuff, that, that that's real prevalent with them because they sit in the front of the car. Their feet are the first thing out there. And yeah. they got his feet and stuff all put back together. But he still never walked. He died. Actually, he died about three weeks ago. But he never did walk right. Hey, Bob, how are you this morning, bud? I pulled over to type this. Uncle Lou, what are you going to do when a spider crawls across your toe and climbs down on the cast? 
<laughs> get up, yeah. Oh. Get out, get out, get it out. <laughs> Hey, Corey. How are you, Stephen? JC, uh, I've raced dirt bikes my whole life, probably almost 40 years worth of it, and there's not a joint in my body that hadn't been operated on now from tearing them up all them years. I'm with you. I live in pain a lot. But, you know, mine was self-induced, so I don't. I can't complain about it because I done it myself. I was warned when I was probably 15 or 16 my dad and all his buddies that raced dirt bikes warned me Walter, Mr. Corley I'm going to say can't handle the swelling and having and having it into this unforgiving heavy cast I get swelling down and it flops all over hey stuff you some uh a t-shirt down on one side of it when it does that but then again if it swells up real quick it's gonna be hard to get that t-shirt out You know, I, when I broke my wrist one time, uh, actually racing dirt bikes, and uh, I went to the hospital and they put the cast on after they said it, which is an experience. They put, I don't know if you ever had a broken wrist, but they put like those, remember those Chinese finger traps? You put your, your fingers in them and then you pull and it get tight. Yeah. Well, they put uh, one of them things that was, had metal and it went on each finger, okay? And it was like a, ch a Chinese finger trap, and then they hung 20 pounds at the joint in my elbow right there, and it kind of straightened your arm down. Yeah. And my wrist already broken, mind you, and I'm in a lot of pain, and that hurt so bad. And then the guy slides between me and my arm, and he says, "Now this is going to hurt, okay?" And he grabbed my arm and set that wrist back in place. And man, dude, I tell you, I could have cried. It hurt so bad. Oh. Uh. But yeah, the finger weight thing, I'll never forget that. It was like a Chinese finger trap. And then they hung weight down on your elbow. To, and it, the object was to see is maybe sometimes they'll pop back in their self when they do that. And when they didn't, he just slid between my arm and me and popped that thing back in. I was like, gee. I was like, and then they uh, put a cast on it. And he said, now we got to send you down to x-ray. And I was like, well, what we got to do that for? He said, well, make sure it's right. Because if it didn't, if it didn't set back in right, we got to do it again. I was like, no, just please set right. Please, please, please. And I got lucky it was, it was set right. And I got I got in trouble for that one, man, because I was, wasn't supposed to ride my dirt bike. I was in the Army. I wasn't supposed to be going racing or nothing. And I had showed up on a Monday morning to the first formation with my arm in a cast. And, uh, yeah, have, haven't you ever... Well, it goes to everybody. Have you ever watched a movie or heard somebody say something about a broken arm and they describe it and all of a sudden it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, like you all of a sudden you got that pain. It's like, oh my God. Please, JC, tell me, tell me they had insurance at least. That was the worst part for my cousin. The person that he hit was an illegal immigrant and didn't have any insurance or a driver's license. So my cousin ended up getting stuck with all the medical bills and everything too. Buggy, what's the name of that one movie where that one was obsessed with that novel writer and she takes that block and puts it. Oh, right misery. There. Yes. Oh, yeah. when she yeah. hit their ankles, I was sitting there watching that like, what's she doing? Man, yes. I read that book before the movie came out and yes, reading it in the book just made me quiver. I was like, oh, you got it. Oh, no. Whenever I realized it. She broke it first ankle. I jumped plumb up out of my recliner and I was laid back. If I watched that movie and when she done that, I was like, God. Yes. Yeah, JC, the worst part of insurance, they sure want to take your money, but they don't want to give none when the time comes, do they? I hate insurance companies. Rusty, you bring cop pop back. <laughs> You know, we've been using the Keurig thing for, I don't know, two years now. And uh, I'm going back to a regular coffee pot because I'll make Pop a cup of coffee, take it in there. He'll drink it while he's, he's a nutty bar with his coffee. 
he'll drink it with his nutty bar, some of it, and then he sets it down, gets to reading the newspaper, and it gets cold. Yeah. And he's like, can you make me another cup of coffee? This one got cold. And, you know, because of the dimension stuff, I used to go in there and heat it up and bring it back in there. But if I had a coffee pot, because he, he just drinks it black, you know, so I could just pour it back in the coffee pot that the hot coffee's in already and refill his cup again. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That, I keep... I keep forgetting to get a can opener, an electric can opener. I'm using the hand kind right now. And I have for the last couple of years. I just forget to buy a can opener. Oh, my stomach hurts for some reason. Probably oh, I know why. That's what I had to do yesterday after I got done uh, on the live. I don't know what it was, but something told me, said, man, dude, you need to check that water softener and make sure it's got salt in it. Because I couldn't remember the last time I put salt in. And I went in there, and it was literally almost completely out of salt. So I had to drive into town, get five bags of salt, bring it in, and put them in there. Yep. That's why my stomach hurts today, that hernia, now that I think about it. Because I had to carry that salt in, lift it up, and dump it in the uh, water softener thing. All right, Melissa. Matter of fact, be right back. Zed said I constantly nuke my coffee. Matter of fact, be right back. He's going to nuke it. <laughs> I always do the opposite. I have to go put my Red Bull in the freezer and get it cold again. The second one, the first one I drink doesn't last very long. Let's see. I'll be right back, buggy. All right, I'll be hanging around talking to people doing nothing. Well, we got how many people we got in here today? I have no idea. Where does it say on StreamYard? It doesn't say, I guess, does it? Huh. Interesting. How many, I don't know if there's any way to see how many people there is. Uh, oh, there we go. 21 people watching. Started 48 minutes ago. Uh, all right. Hello, 21 people. Don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, Zed, man, I'm an idiot. I've been drinking it for five or six years now, I guess. And it's, it's become my morning coffee, you know. You hit your foot two times, Uncle Lou. Is that what you're saying? If so, man, that'll make a guy cry right there. I guarantee it will. Or make you wish you were dead. Well, I sit here and almost fell asleep again. Is there anyone in here that's somewhere in the country that has good weather today? See, John's not here. And uh, the brothers aren't here. Eric and Curtis. I'm sure Eric's driving right now or getting ready to. He'll probably pop in here in a little bit. And he's back. I don't know what happened. You just dropped out. Yeah, my phone was going black, so I had to go in there and mm -hmm. clean the had to clean deal. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it does that when I'm on Wi-Fi. It's weird. <laughs> Mine goes. Best phone, man, I'm telling you. If I'm not using it or have a hold in my hand, it goes black 
after 10 minutes and there's no way to set it not to do that it drives me crazy <clears throat> yeah you can go into your settings and look down and uh just go through your settings i don't remember exactly which one but you can you can adjust that or, oh well uh, yeah but it doesn't it doesn't have a never option the only option it has is the longest is 10 minutes and i'm like come on man yeah. i need to google and find out i'm sure there's some way to to get around it you know, and i'll just have to google it and follow the step by step on youtube or something there may be a way but it's it's more involved than just checking settings yeah Oh yeah, there's always people are smart. They figure stuff out on their phones, man. And they mid eighties. Heck yeah, Uncle Lou. That's getting a little hot right there, though. For me, my myself, I'm fat. It gets mid eighties. I'm sweating. Yeah, it's supposed to be temperature supposed to be up here too this weekend. And then rain next week. My goodness. Not. Can you hear my birds chirping? <laughs> it's a kind of chance of rain call. <laughs> I was thinking about fishing today, but we were supposed to have wind up to 17 mile an hour. Yeah, you better go fish because that wind by this weekend, the wind's supposed to be, I think the wind gust is supposed to be around 40. I got to try and see where it's going. I can't believe them birds are out there chirping right now and it's raining. They're probably up under your eave where it's dry. They may be. If but they too don't see how I ride in a couple hours opening the camper goes, then ride back. Don't push it, Uncle Lou. Don't push it. You just got them staples out. Now, how are you going to open the camper, Uncle Lou? Made it with a minute to spare, said Jody. <laughs> you probably best take you a cooler with a bunch of ice in it, because you're going to need it when you get done. Problem is, he can't get ice on his ankle. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, I wonder if a cryo cup would work with that, even though it's got a cast on it. It'd take it a while for it to get through yeah come think yeah. of it that's with a cast on you're not going to get any cold to it uh, after the storm yesterday we had to stream out of winds it blew down a big flight across the road i move on go cut it up get some firewood mm -hmm. jody said it got no wind or nothing there right now it's come <laughs> There you go, JC. Nothing wrong with it. taking it easy day. You don't know me, but I, I after I turned 50, I, I developed a philosophy that I don't hurry anymore because I realized my life was more than halfway over. And it seems like I sped through it all them years, you know, career, kids and all that stuff. So at 50, I said, that's it. I'm not I'm never I'm not getting in a hurry anymore. So I don't get in a hurry and the no plans thing, that's me most days. I ain't got no plans and just let the day happen. Who he said he's gonna tell Mindy what to do, what she needs to do. He said he's gonna have a bag of peas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll work. And I can already see Wendy saying, I know, would you just shut up for a minute? I'm just I'm just estimating that something like that will come out of her mouth. Hey, still in you. What's up, man? The most positive human being on the planet. It's so good to see you today. More still in you. No, I don't think the land order appreciates taking as far as unless he told us to. Oh, 
Yeah, mine is too, J <laughs> JC. The other day, I, I had a really, there's a pseudo pond in the back. It's just a drainage thing that catches water, you know what I mean? But sometimes it'll hold water all year, sometimes it won't. And it was out of the banks and up in the yard last week. Yeah, there's no clue on any of that as I do every year. Yeah. Understand that? When I go yep. open up, up at the lake, she tried to help me, and I said, just sit back. I'll do it. Yep. <laughs> but now it'd be a good, because she'll know how to do it when you get done. Yeah. Once she learns it, she can go up there without him. I'm sleeping at home. I'll, I'll, get away. You. I'll take care of this. <laughs> you just go fishing or something while I take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Turn here, run me over with that scooter. <laughs> yeah. That's the best part. At least you can outrun him right now. <laughs> yes, sir. My thoughts as well. Oh, I know what would be a good thing to do if it's going to rain today. <laughs> Yeah, if it's going to, oh shoot, I got to go to Walmart. I was going to say it'd be a good day to start doing my continuing education classes. I got to have 27 hours done by the middle of June at the latest. <laughs> and that's just to keep your appraisal business going? Yeah, you got to renew your license every two years. One hundred and ninety nine dollars every two years. Yeah, you're gonna keep doing it. Yeah, you didn't get that done. Oh, yeah, I can't. No, uh, because as with any class or whatever you take, you know, this one here, you have to go to a testing place when you first get your license after your apprenticeship, and you yeah. take this test that lasts about two hours and uh. Most of the stuff's still fresh in your head because you just got done doing classes and you know being an apprentice and stuff. But yeah, when you got to go back after twenty some years, if you if your license lapses, you got to take the exam again. There's no way I pass it right now. No way, none, no way, shape, or form. Huh. I know uh, when my state my state crane license run out, I got a letter. It was right before it run out, about a month before. And they said that it's about to run out. Do I want to come to, I forgot where it was at. It's been a long time ago to redo my license. It was 200 bucks. And I said, nah, I don't need it. I'm not doing it no more. Yeah. Read it. With that license, I can go anywhere in the state, in the state of Missouri and, and run a crane. So. Yeah. Yeah. My dad was an operator, retired out operator. Yeah. But see, there are some states that have reciprocity with Indiana. Like I could go. I know I could go to Florida and all I got to do is uh, apply and pay the money because they recognize Indiana's license. Kind of like a kind of like your what your concealed carry permit. Because with with the, my concealed carry permit, I can drive from the upper peninsula of Michigan all the way to Key West and every state I pass through that license is good. Yeah. I just don't think our license would be good for us to do that. Because here in the state of Missouri, we can carry open or concealed. Yeah, we can now. There, ours, you don't have to have a license no more in Indiana. But I'm going to keep my lifetime license, you know, because that's subject to change at some politician's whim. Hey, morning, Rhonda. I have my CCW for New York and PA also. J&J, &J, I'll bet that wasn't easy to get. Yeah. I took the class to get mine, but I never turned it in. Whiskers. Well, I done, I done the whole process one time, and everything from the background check and all that. And then I went to the courthouse to the police department to turn everything in to have them send to the state. 
and my yeah. driver's license didn't match my current address because I'd moved from Noblesville to Muncie. And I'd done all that and they couldn't do it unless I had to change my driver's license. So it took me about a year to do all that. And when I went back in the state licensing webpage or whatever, they wanted to charge me again, the 75 bucks or something, I think it was. And I was like, I don't think so. I've already paid that once. And they're like, well, it's been so long. I, you know, so I went ahead and paid it. And then I don't know, two or three weeks later, I got a check from the state with a letter that said that you know, I was inadvertently double charged. Like, <laughs> Okay. Inadvertently. huh? I believe I pointed it out to someone before it happened. Yeah. Yeah, JC, I, exactly. I, I understand that. That's how, that's crazy. Where are you from, JC? Are you in Australia or New Zealand or something? More Curtis. Well, upstate, so it's totally different than down the city and being in. I had absolutely no police record. It made it a lot easier. Even when I got a new car, and about an awful little. I didn't wait to go see right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what, yeah, I was thinking New York City. Okay, yeah. I think mine, uh, because I had a state license already in something, I think that helped a little bit as far as not getting scrutinized as bad. But I'm like, yeah, technically, I don't have a police record neither. That helped a lot. Yeah. Curtis, hey, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. Oh, uh, Glade told me the other day he feels lost without his morning show and being with y'all. <laughs> well, you tell him all he's got to do is come up any morning and jump in. I'd be more than happy to hand the reins over to him and let him enjoy himself. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Curtis, what are you doing, Curtis? We're going, I'm going yeah, home. Well, first, first, first week, it ain't so bad for us. It's the second week that's going to get us because the first week we're going to consider yeah. him on vacation. <laughs> the yeah. Next week, we're going to be like, when's he coming back? <laughs> yeah, Melissa, I'm with you. I, I I thought to myself that, you know, after doing it so long, he's, he's going to have to miss it. Oh, yeah, he but, misses the conversations. But waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning ain't a whole lot of fun, or 5 to 5 hey. whenever you wake up. But This is the doc. Welcome in. Yeah, that first week, we're all thinking, hey, he's on vacation. Now, the second week, we're going to be wondering, is he ever coming back? <laughs> what are you watching, Curtis? It's off early for a movie. You should be watching the news right now. He should be up on the panel. I dropped the link for him. He ain't coming. I don't know up. where Eric's at. Eric should be getting around here. Yeah, that's soon. what I was wondering too. I'll text him and ask him if he's going to come up here or whatever. The new Willow, Willow Wonka movie. Willow Wonka. Are you mean Willy yeah, Wonka, Wonka, or is this something I don't know about? Yeah, we figured he'll be back soon. We just want to make sure he gets his uh everything done. He's wanting to get done and at least get some sleep and relax. He'll be back. If I get away, trout is the best could go with the fire. Oh uh, yeah, that would be cool. I've never done that. Camped out and, and fished for trout or anything like that. I've camped out and fished overnight, but never cooked any fish while I was camping. No, I never done that either. All the years I've camped, I've cooked yeah. over a fire, steaks, burgers. Oh, cool. I've never cooked. I raced dirt bikes in West Virginia, JC, uh, Snowshoe Mountain, West Virginia, I think's the name of it. And uh, 
what is it, Huntington? What what town is the University of West Virginia in? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Morgantown. Morgantown, isn't that right? Yeah, Morgantown, West Virginia. I raced a place over there, too. Seneca Rocks. Yeah, West Virginia is actually a really pretty state, man. My dog's over snoring. Sound like she's fixing to start her motor up and run. <laughs> <laughs> Get that Harley going. <laughs> Build over charcoal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Being rusty with pond, so I heard it over here. <laughs> There it is. Well, 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 look at these two knuckleheads. <laughs> hey, you didn't mess with my back folks while you down there, did you? Yeah, I shook them all up. Wait till you oh, open them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, Rustic. Good morning, Buggy. Good morning, Good morning Curtis. How are you today, brother? I'm pretty good. Yeah, I'm watching that new Willow Wonka movie. It's on HBO Max. Willow Wonka? That sounds yeah. like a porn spinoff from Willy Wonka. <laughs> it, it is. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I found it down in your basement yesterday. Well, I've got a pretty good collection. I'm amazed you got through most of them. <laughs> well, you have to move them. They got a good collection down there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, yeah, it's called whatever Buggy just said. It's a new Wonka movie. There's Cootie <laughs> Jody. <laughs> then my brother and I took our families camping. He got his shoes wet, put it around the fire, and went to sleep. When he woke up, his shoes had melted and laughed. And I laughed and laughed. He had to wear flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> One time when I was a kid, we was dirt bike riding not racing in this place we used to go and it was fall time and kind of cold so i'm laying on a blanket and i got my feet i had my dirt bike boots on and i had my feet towards the fire right and yeah. the soles on them are real thick you know and i'm not thinking about well when i went to stand up the soles of them boots were so hot i couldn't stand on them i had to get my boots off real quick it was like they were burning my feet i'll never forget that Cause it's not easy to get those boots off with all the buckles and stuff, you know? Yeah. And I'm standing up and I start jumping around. I'm like, and so I have to fall back down on the ground and hold my feet up. And my mom and I'm like, what's wrong with you? I said, my boots, the, the soles are really hot. I, like, I got to get them off. They're burning my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Jody. <laughs> you have to put something on. You can get infection down there. <laughs> or just, is there an exploding blueberry in that movie? Yeah, that's the I, honest shot of that movie. I just started watching uh started watching it, so I paused it because I come up here to see these two knuckleheads. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Google that one and see what it is. It's on HBO Max. Yeah, I don't have that then. I can if any get your password. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to let's see, you'd have to get it from my older brother. He's the one that's that's uh, his. Uh, my son has it all called. I said, dude, I need a password to your, your whatever it's called. <clears throat> I think it's called Willy Wonka or Willy Wonka. With Willy Wonka is, is the original one. It's, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate yeah, Factory. It's the, yeah, it's the candy movie. Yeah. The book uh, you know. was, was actually called, the book was actually called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yep. But you know how, you know how I am in my candy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> That's the only reason why I watched that movie because he heard that they was making peanut M&Ms. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, eat one of these and it'll turn you into an M&M. All right. I'll never have to go nowhere. How long as my arm or something would rejuvenate? <laughs> Cutthroat trout. Never heard of them. Interesting.
<laughs> yeah, Melissa. Yeah. Hoggy get my message yesterday. I left you <laughs> messages after messages. I'm sorry to hear about Ace. Curtis said, I'll be in that movie. Cut me into one of them yellow M&Ms. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I'd be afraid to walk around because somebody would be trying to either, you know, okay. take me out. <laughs> Take a big hammer and crush it, crush you. <laughs> hey. uh, you know what our buddy J Dog would do to me? Throw me in the river. Yeah. <laughs> it, you tell. Yeah. You said, said so. Said you're one hundred percent right. They try to yeah, remake so far, movies, and it's horrible. It pisses me off so bad. So far, it's okay. Yeah, but it ain't the one with Johnny Depp in it, is it? Oh, no, I can't stand that one. He belongs yeah. in them, them pirate movies. Yeah. But anyway, I get so mad. They keep remaking movies. Is there not an original idea in Hollywood no more? No. It drives me crazy. That's probably one of my biggest pet peeves right now. There's no chocolate for you, Patrick. <laughs> Especially Willy Wonka. I went and seen that at the Reveille Theater in the matinee. Are you kidding me on a Saturday when I was a kid? Don't ruin it. As a kid, my favorite one was the movie E.T. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, it was, would have been about your time, wouldn't it? Yeah, when we when we were growing up, I, I thought that was the, sh the shizzing it. Yeah. Then we'll later in life, then later in life, the other movie that I, I really enjoyed going to the movie theater and watching was that movie Twister. Because <laughs> we had a bad yeah. storm when that happened. <laughs> yeah. And actually, Willy Wonka was, was pretty decent, you know, effects and stuff like that for the time it was made. Yeah, Gene, Gene uh, I think his name is Gene Wilder, or I think that's how you yep. say his name. Yep. Gene Wilder, uh, yeah. I always liked it. I always liked that the movies that he did. Yeah, yeah. The one with him and Richard Pryor in prison. Uh, really <laughs> him and Richard Pryor were always. <laughs> yeah, just act like just act like you're tough, man. <laughs> and walking in, and Richard Pryor's Bob me. Yeah, we're tough. We're bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was the one that I, I like the one uh, where one of them couldn't see and the other couldn't hear. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, see, see no evil, hear no evil or something like that. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, it, it just was, movie, movies like that, just regular, like, you know, movies, movies, not with all these special effects and stuff like that. They just don't, there's nobody making them. I don't even know what that is, Uncle Lou. I don't either. I don't even know how to say that. Blippity D I. I have yeah. Cops is cops is what I would think Uncle Lou be watching. Yeah. Number so the cops. I, There's well, some yeah, I told channel. you guys. Oh, I told you guys what I want for Christmas. What's that? <laughs> I asked Uncle Lou, can I get a taser gun for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hope Jay Dog ain't watching. <laughs> yeah, I got my son a paintball gun one time, and I had no oh. idea how powerful those things were. Yeah, those yeah. shoot no one up close with one of those. I can tell you That's, that. No, yeah, it will leave a gnarly bruise and break the skin. Stir crazy, JC. There you go. That's the one. Yeah, classic. Yeah, movie. stir crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said see no evil, hear no evil. That must be some other movie. <laughs> You know, I remember them. Go ahead, buggy. They they'll never be able to make good movies like that anymore. They they'll never be able to make a Blazing Saddles again or a Young Frankenstein or anything like that because oh, the world like is I told, too butt hurt. Like I told you, hey, Stone Fly. Like I told you when you were talking about them, I messaged you. I said, yeah. How about that? Uh, the toy. <laughs> yep. Never happened again. <laughs> Yep. Cannonball. Uh, I, love, I, I love the Cannonball. Cannonball 1 and Cannonball 2. Yep. Or uh, 
trading places with uh what was it, Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd? That'll never go that'll never happen. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I watch that every holiday. Oops, it's good. Yeah, I watched that Friday night. Live on Patrol. I watched that. Huh. <laughs> Stone fly. I don't know what it is either. Because I've been watching on Reels. I think you got to have Peacock to get it. But they have the PD Live that used to be oh, yeah. on a &E. Yeah, it's it, yep. it, the new one's on Reels. <laughs> Oh, Holland Racing. I thought he was going to say it was like a 24 hour Le Mans or something. <laughs> CJ likes watches Texas Walker Ranger. I, I never cared for that. Yeah. Yeah. That, but see, all, those are all different errors for me because I had Dragnet all the way up to chips and then yeah. i like uh, dragnet and i like chips the old dragnets are awesome the black and white ones are hilarious <laughs> oh, <laughs> uncle, lou. <laughs> uncle lou you see what uncle lou said there buggy <laughs> yeah the one that's <laughs> the one i'm watching yeah there's a lot of patrol <laughs> and on a patrol lot buggy's watching the patrol live for Which six is. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Then it's the original one that was on A and E, and they got in trouble for something <clears throat> that they ended. They didn't show something or something that had to do with a shooting or whatever. And they got in trouble. I thought Don't maybe they sick any chips. I thought maybe they sick their dogs on them. That was my favorite thing. My brother got me starting to watch it. There was a dog that was in Florida that we always liked. He would always go after the humans. Yeah. Anytime they tried to hide or anything, there ain't no way. Yeah, that dog would find them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on patrol live. That's it. Yeah, I, I thought Uncle Lou would say, Yeah, Buggy's favorite patrol is Paw Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can see Bucky watching that too, eating a couple of those strawberry Swiss rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about the show. This one, this rose. You ever notice down in the basement? That's one thing he don't keep down there with his pop tarts. Oh yeah, no, he, no, he, no, the good stuff he keeps to himself. He don't keep that in the basement. <laughs> I'm glad the rooster guy's warming him up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Bippy must be something along the lines of, say, a Barney the Dinosaur, Bob the Builder type show. Uh, I'm with you now. I forgot Lou was babysitting. Yeah, don't be talking smack about Bob the Builder. <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot from that joker. <laughs> <laughs> Live on patrol is the sheriff of Ramsey County, Minnesota. I have no idea. That's I wonder if I'd get in, I'd wonder if I get in trouble for that too. Say What's Uncle Lou it? buys that. Did I get that from Christmas from Uncle Lou? That taser? Yeah. And the next year I the next year I go to the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I bet you I bet you won't. I bet you I will. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a, a hard <clears throat> possibility with those you might want to look at. Well, Buggy, I'll set it on stun. <laughs> oh, okay. They have, yeah, it has different levels, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 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 going, it's going to the gathering. If you see Curtis coming up to you, you better have Bro. a water gun. That boy. <laughs> oh, water gun? You're definitely going to get tased then. <laughs> they got tased, call boy. It? What, what's Uncle Lou call? They'll be doing the crappie flop. <laughs> Jody, Jody, Jody's right up there, number one on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Slept from a slightly picture pants. 
<laughs> that's right. That's right. It's still play. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> over. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I'll set it too. Yeah. I was thinking from stun to annihilate. Which one do you want? Which level do you want? <laughs> and that, and that if you, you'll you'll know what one's getting annihilated. <laughs> Dang, I gotta let my dog out. Be right back. Full blast! You shit yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be great. Oh, that would be. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I just go around carrying them J Dog towels or whatever, and then I just throw <laughs> yeah. it on them after I'm done. <laughs> Clean yourself up. <laughs> yeah. Have the nerve. <laughs> I'm grabbing the cattle. <laughs> Nate, stay out of my way. <laughs> Hey, Donald Knight. Yeah, I think we're going to get some uh, CJ. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> You're okay, CJ. Hey, Don, how are you three nights? Yeah, you're getting- <laughs> if you're you're getting the rain now that I got last night, dude, it rained from, freak, I'm going to say, mm-hmm. 7 o'clock, and it ain't quit yet. It's still raining. <laughs> Jody, hey, you know I wouldn't taste you. <laughs> I wouldn't taste nobody. Mm-hmm. Unless you gave me a reason. <laughs> hey, they saying we're going to get thunderstorms over here on the east side of Ohio. We had them last night, man. Big ones. Hmm. Good God, I'm I just think it's funny when I'm watching them live patrols or something like that, and they taser them. And the cop sits there and even says, "Don't run." Yeah. And the retard and, and the special needs guy decides he's going to want to run. Yeah. What's going to happen? He, he's either going to shoot you with the gun, or he's going to tase you. I'd rather be tased than get shot in the gun. JC, really? You guys carry stun guns in the military now? Interesting. Oh wow. That would come in real handy if you ended up in a hand-to-hand situation, though, man, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said me in the nards. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see that. <clears throat> well, I, <laughs> there I goes I'd rather be be tased and I would shot with a paintball at close range. Yeah. Eric said he's lying. He would tase me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eric wouldn't be the one I would tase. Oh, where's my keys at? It's tone fly. You got that right. Oh, that's cool, JC. My uh, my best friend I grew up with, uh, his daughter's married to a guy that's uh, Delta Force. Uncle Lou says freeze your paint balls, yeah, buggy. Hey, Lou, believe me, I've heard of that. Yeah. So they will if, leave a mark. If there's some, they leave a mark anyway. If they're frozen, phew, I couldn't imagine, especially at close range. Hmm. Because I like I said, I never knew they were that powerful, and I I'm sure it depends on which gun you get or whatever. But even the the bottom line paintball gun is is pretty strong when you're up close. <laughs> Uncle Lou says they are like hello. <laughs> yes, they do. I wonder how Uncle Lou knows. <laughs> they'll they'll put a bruise on your thigh that'll last for weeks. <clears throat> Yeah, they got a paintball. They got a, like a paintball thing tournament thing that goes on here in Ohio. Yeah. Someone I well, knew, Susie, my girlfriend, ex girlfriend, she had a friend. Her husband was a professional paintballer. I didn't even know it hmm. existed. 
Yeah, blood you'd have blisters. to certify blood blisters is a better word for it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, how y'all become a professional paintballer and do you make any money out of it? Because I don't know if you uh, remember, like, at camp we played a game. Oh, never mind. I just went out of my brain. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, was, yeah, I, was, I, guess you, I guess you can because, I mean, they make money in cornhole. <laughs> Yeah, now that you mentioned it, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I played that one. I had grown up drinks, and <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I wish I would have known. <laughs> I dropped a link for Eric. Yeah, I don't think he made it to the shop yet. No. He might come up. Good morning, all you people that are watching. And uh, if you would, please hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, hit the thumbs up if you would, please. Apache, good morning, buddy. Hey, good morning. Morning, Apache. Uh, let's see here. Where's my wallet? There's my wallet. Were well, you about here to go to is. therapy? <laughs> no, I got to babysit my youngest granddaughter. Well, my daughter takes my grandson on that field trip for the school. Mm -hmm. so I yeah, JC, I remember in basic trainings, I was in South Carolina, Fort Jackson, Wind's South blowing. Carolina. And when you get to the range in the morning and they had like these wood box covers for the foxhole things you got down in to shoot. Make sure you look down in there before you just jump in there after you take <laughs> that cover off. And then they have a whole wall under the uh, canopy that you set under in the morning and there's a wall back there and the whole wall was covered with rattlesnake skins. Hmm. Morning, Matt. Want to be outdoors? Pontoon Jody, do you think you could beat me in cornhole, huh? <laughs> if you thought Mr. Lee Evans is good, <laughs> where do you get a load of me? <laughs> Morning, Matt. Oh, really? They renamed two bases? <laughs> yeah, you know, JC, we're going to have to. Unfortunately, after this administration's gone. A lot of things are going to have to be changed back. I mean, you can't erase the history. But see, that's part of the, the Communist Manifesto, is to erase the history. Divide the people. Control the economy. Erase the history. I can't remember. I, have, I used to have it somewhere, the Communist Manifesto, but that's a big part of it. I mean, you could lay the handbook out and, and pretty much lay out the past 20 years of America and you would see it happening. Hey, Rhonda. Um, hey, book me. So going to kick her to the tub here. Oh. Yeah, there, and I think I need more coffee. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a cornhole, laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jody. Yep, you can definitely tell that would be the first person I would taste. <laughs> <clears throat> James would be like, you just did me a favor. Poor Buggy went to relax in Jackson. Yeah, I'm sitting here, man. I'm... It's going to be a weird morning because I had, in the middle of talking, I had two things twice now that, that what I was talking about or whatever just literally went out of my brain and I couldn't remember what I was thinking. Oh, I know what you're thinking. I can't wait to go fishing with Curtis again. Yep. He Relax is awesome Jackson. Yeah, Nate. Yep. I liked basic trainings, man. It was cool, I thought. Especially there's I don't know there was three weeks of it was shooting at the range. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fun. This is for gun. <laughs> Fort Benning. Let's see. 
Now, is that the Airborne Post? I know Fort Fort Campbell, Kentucky is air assault. I went there and repelled. Well, in the summer I was in Fort Campbell, we went down somewhere. It was either Benning or Bragg and trained National Guard for a month. Nope, I thought I heard Pop getting up there for a minute. Nope, didn't hear it. Yeah, he actually went and slept in his bed last night. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it was like, you know, because it, it's really weird. He goes through these phases where, you know, I, I call it like snapping out of, but he, he goes through these phases where he's like, you know, has really kind of off the wall dementia. And then like right and probably the last week or whatever, he snapped out of it. He still has memory issues, but he's a whole lot like his old self. Mm. You know, he was using that, talking about that taser on Jody. Jody, take that thing away from you and use you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. Rustic, whose side are you on? Okay, yeah, I want to. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I wouldn't yeah. taste nobody. I wouldn't taste nobody. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, you would. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> <laughs> He just do it, just do it to see if he flop like a crappie. <laughs> it's a crappie flop. Yeah. The first ones, the first ones for me. The second ones for Uncle Lou because he wanted to see what it's like. <laughs> Mama still got. Well, if you lost the Lee Evans, Jody, you're really not that good. <laughs> Unless you practice see, a lot more. To see what it's like, huh? You too, Miss Rhonda. You take care. Yep. See you, Rhonda. <laughs> Tell Eddie Bitty we all said hey too. Eddie Bitty. Hey, he's a big dude. City. Yep. Mud diver. Easy peasy. That was a pitcher on softball. Mama still got it. <laughs> My daughter she tells talks. me all the time, says, look, Dad, I can throw this ball fast. I said, yeah, but can you keep it from going over the backstop? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't played since. Ha, ha, ha. Please don't one do time, that. Bob. Yeah. Tell you what, my granddaughter's one heck of a catcher. She can pitch, too, boy, fast. She loves to catch. <laughs> That's Somebody cool. hollered Rusty. out the other day. Uh, she was catching, playing in a tournament. They got second place. They played the top team in the state of Arkansas, and uh, they were just getting started. And she uh, was playing catcher, and the girl on first was uh, trying to steal, and uh, her mama hollered out, steal, steal, steal. My granddaughter stood up and said, she knows better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, I think that's pretty cool, Rustic. You got the granddaughters. Yeah, see, that's uh, that's Curtis's awesome. brother, Eric. He's yeah. headed to work. Yeah, and then Rustic's now, driving. Yeah, now she's got to where uh, she is so good, man, that she's got other traveling tournament teams yeah. calling my daughter yeah. and saying, hey, we want yeah, your daughter to play with to. us. Play for us. That, 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 that is freaking awesome, dude. Oh, yeah. She's got a she was pitching one time, and this uh, girl that pitches for uh, ASU down there come mm -hmm. to watch her niece or something to play in the softball games down there. And she seen my granddaughter. She said, huh. And she walked up to my – found my daughter and said, that's your daughter, daughter there? Yeah. She goes, I would like to train her to pitch because she's got something about her that she can be good. Mm. And so she's been working with her. 
and my granddaughter strikes a lot of people out. <laughs> and she's quick with that ball. And she's only 12 hey. years old. Miss Beckett's in the basement. <laughs> no lotion, she said. <laughs> no way. Heck yeah. She said no lotion. Can stuff you down here. I have no lotion. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again. Mr. Curtis, that was in private chat. <laughs> I, I said yeah. Good morning, Donald. Good morning. 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 Rustic <laughs> yeah, everything. Right. That's right. I did it for Rustic. <laughs> John, it's a good day to stay in the truck, buddy, and drive around and look at the park. They call it pushing air. <laughs> yeah. Morning, Finn. Hey, Finn. Good morning. All right, Finn. Uncle Lou wants to know how how good was Jody Jody's riser or fastball. Hi there, oh. Mr. Zayn. How you doing? Well, I know, but I seen okay. that girl's fast pitch softball, and I had no idea. You know, I had the girls, so I wasn't yeah. not familiar with it. But that's gnarly, man. Them girls can throw that fastball. Unbelievable. Oh my 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 granddaughter's twelve years old, and she learned how to throw that drop ball. And mm -hmm. man, she she freaks a lot of people out on that. They swing early. <laughs> now she says, "Now if I can just get the speed on it." I tried to play baseball. Baby. I played softball for thirteen years back, you know, back when I was young. And I tried to play baseball, but back then they wouldn't let girls do that. Mm. So my daddy tried because he coached the um the boys team, and of course my mama coached the girls team, and I don't know. I just thought the other was a little too easy. So he tried to get them to change the rule where I could play on the boy side and they just wouldn't do it. Huh. So, but I ended up, I ended up playing 13 years and I went to state 12 out of the 13 years. Uh, Jackie Bears, wow. huh? I loved it. I'm proud of you, girl. <sighs> I know a lot of the yeah. major leaguers can't hit the ladies pitching. It's because they My throw under it. My daddy oh, taught there me. It it's a lot harder than you think it is. Boy, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that wind's blowing. Right out of the north, man. Hard. Hey, yeah, see, don't worry there. about that. I got a buddy that makes six figures a year. <laughs> Eric, you're yeah. just saying that because you didn't make the major league roster. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of happy for my granddaughter. She's got – when ASU players come to – there's several of them that lives in Manila down there. And uh, and when they come up there, they go over and watch her catch and pitch. They give her tips and pointers all the time. Mm. Oh, wow, Mr. Zaya. That's kind of that's kind of neat that you played 13 years as well. Um, it's not often, you know, you hear the same years, but – but uh, and you coach Little League. <laughs> I remember, I remember my um my right. younger yeah, brother going in through Little League. Curtis, read that. What Jody said. Uh, rustic. I have threw against a concrete. Half her throw against a concrete wall. I can't read this on this little phone. Block wall and feel the bounce. She will get it moved. It, she'll get quick reflexes. That, that thing moved. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's got read that cat like reflexes now. Uh, I she, chopped that she all catches, up. She hard lets a ball go by her, and she's done got to where now when they try to steal, she tell them I wouldn't do that. As soon as they did, boy, they she pop them at second base. <laughs> it, it's funny. I said my daughter drops videos on Facebook all the time. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I could. Like, I couldn't wow. do it now. Not after those eye surgeries that I had to have. Um, there's just no way I could actually do it now. Yeah. Morning, Aunt my, Chrissy. My daughter's got. Morning, Chrissy. Uh, you got me saying, Aunt Chrissy now. Morning, Miss Chrissy. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, uh, my daughter's got to where she's got this photo thing on the camera, and she can take like one second pictures dit, 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 real fast. And she posted mm. a deal on uh, Facebook about my granddaughter catching. She, uh, when they pitched in, the girl was on first, still in second, and you could see it in, in, in motion in real time. 
she snatches that ball to the side, jumps up, and throws her out of second base. Hi there, Miss Crazy like, Girl. How you doing? Like, hey, John awesome. B, you're the world champion bedwetter. How are you, buddy? Good morning, Brian. Morning, Brian. Right now, the unions are dying to get young. Morning, Christy. Love you. That's funny, there, buddy. In the world. <laughs> oh, Brian. Yeah, she's got a a lot of championship rings and tournaments, and she's got MVP MVP player uh, rings. And, oh, she loves that game, boy. Miss Jason Tate, our, uh, our our school had the um the wood shop and the metal shop. I thought that like most schools have those, but I'm I'm not really sure. But I know ours did. Uh, three nights they right. dropped out for something. Yeah. Yeah. The rain. They get back to work. He said. Oh, okay. Well, Thank I appreciate you coming you. up, Donald. Yep. Hi there, Mr. Brian. Brian, how you doing? Oh, well, I got somebody typed in chat. I'm in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Bug man done used it all up, huh? <laughs> time, time, to make, time, time to make a Walmart run. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mr. John, I saw. I saw where you got a, a little puppy, a little white German Shepherd. I had one of those once that was the pure white or whatever, which is actually a um, what do you call that when they, when it's the the, the breed that is not the norm. It's the uh, they consider it like the inferior. Maybe that's the word. I'm not sure. In that breed, I had as I said, I had one. I thought they were the most beautiful dogs. Um, unfortunately, she did pass away. But um, the, runt. the runt. No, no, no. It's when it's because of the color. It's the oh. uh, they consider it the. Um, I, I can't think of what the word is. It's the one that it's not supposed to be. It's kind of like you know, like your albinos, I guess. But it's the it's the color that wasn't supposed to be. But then and it happens. However, the word is. I remember um, when I had mine going through all that with that. Um, you definitely have to watch them out in the sunlight. Yeah, my mm -hmm. daughter's got two white Argentina dogos, and she has to, when she takes them outside, she has to put this little best thing over the back and then spray on uh, that sunscreen on them because if you don't, man, they get burnt. Mm hmm. I, I loved my little one. Um, as I said, she she ended up she ended up getting worms, and um, I took her to the vet, you know, to get her medicated for them, and they diagnosed the wrong kind of worms, huh. and so they didn't give her the proper medication, you know, that she that she would have needed, and so literally the worms ate her inside out. Wow. By the time, you know, by the time, because, you know, you're supposed to wait. It's supposed to, you know, it takes a few days to flush them out and all that stuff. And, but, um, but yeah, I, I loved her. Gosh, she was so beautiful. Lo and behold, I never used that, uh, that vet again. And I even questioned oh boy, yeah. him because I took the worms with me, you know, and I questioned him and I said, no, these are, you know, such and such and they're like no they, it's this and i'm like well you know because this was a while back and you think the vet would know you know and so but yeah I, that was very bad but i mm. bet she is cute as all get out mr john Geez, Eric, you're flying around, aren't you? I wonder how many loads he's got today. Drop off. Doing the bug man speed. I got nine today. No Ford Smith or West Virginia. Nine. He said, Ford Smith is probably speed. still underwater. I don't know. Let's ask Stonefly. He's, he's here. He's not at Ford Smith. He's out of the list. Oh, well, he's just. 
Oh no, he's upstream from there. Down the road, down the river from him. Oh, up the river. It's yep. pouring rain again. I can't believe this. Yeah, it's winds blowing real hard right here, and it's starting to rain again. It's, Baby Jesus is peeing back. on you, buddy. Down the back. <laughs> Mr. John, did you post a picture of her on your Facebook page? I'd love to see her. As I said, I, I miss mine, and I would love to see her. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I just got a picture. <laughs> that was quick. I want to go Ask look. He shall receive ahead of time. Yeah, I want to go look. That's right. So. Yeah, it's starting to rain now. Oh, look at her. <laughs> we Aren't they just precious? Like, two or three weeks of not no rain. Wouldn't that be nice? Here's a week I take off. A week off of work. Yeah, we go over there and terrorize Buggy. He needs yeah. more stress in his life. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Go over, <laughs> go over, and, make it, go over and take a strawberry spitz roll like I took a fish. He'd shoot us. I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm brave, yeah, but I ain't that brave. No games to them, man. <laughs> no. You can get in them pop tarts, but you better leave them Swiss rolls alone. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You'll lose fingers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Buggy don't play. Fortunately, Dad thinks you're too sweet, so I got them all to myself. <laughs> Buggy, you smart man. <laughs> Guarantee he picks up two, two boxes of them at Walmart. Hey. Oh, yeah? Today's Walmart day for Buggy, huh? What he said earlier. Uh-oh. Yeah. Right, I was listening. He's got to restock that basement. <laughs> what, you had an talking? actual Walmart day. Oh, Becky, you should have been there on that Walmart day. Oh, it was hilarious, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, and the bad part is, it was so organic that it, it, it can never be recreated. It just happened. Yeah, we even had Uncle Lou with us. It was hilarious. <laughs> Uncle Lou, J Dog. I missed it, but I heard a lot about it. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was funny. I was laughing all day long. <laughs> yeah, the only bad part about it is when Buggy put us in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was all warm and fuzzy, wasn't it? <laughs> I prefer to stay out of Walmart. At least, at least now, when I get fully over there. Because I'm back and forth right now. It's down It's down to the end of it now. So I'm back and forth. And um, when I get fully over there, that's, that's what I've got over there is a Walmart. I'm not mm. looking forward to that. But I was going to say, yeah, that's all I got. Uh-huh. And I'm not a Hell, fan. I'd love to go to Walmart with Becca. I wonder how that would be. Yeah. be like anybody <laughs> else going to Walmart. No, Becca, send us the link and go to Walmart. And do what? <laughs> well, no. The new card well, has the thing that you can set your phone in it. Yeah, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. You'll be, you be like, I ain't doing that again with those guys. You want to meet everybody. <laughs> oh, I don't care about that. I've never that's cared about that stuff. That's what uh, Buggy no. said, too. Yeah. Yeah. You better might reconsider that one. <laughs> no. Y'all don't bother me at all. Screw everybody else if they can't take, you know. That's right. Was, someone like something. talking to themselves or hearing people, you know. And Yeah, that that was the funny part because they thought Buggy was talking to himself. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Lucy. A lot of times I do talk no, to JC, myself. JC, what's, I what's got wrong you. With that? I'm just sitting here half asleep. But, or, ma'am, you're all right. Keep talking. I'm watching. <laughs> What did Uncle Lou say? He said, I was beginning to think he was lubing the wheel bearings in his bikes, cars, trailers, with all the lube he bought. 
Oh my goodness, <laughs> Mr. Bullock. You had to be there back then because it was hilarious. He took us over there too. Oh yeah. I, well, I was he told they wanted it. to it go funny. to that aisle, so I took him there, and then naturally there were people in the aisle, so they had to make <laughs> rude comments why we were. Oh, in wait the aisle. a minute. Wait a minute. Is that the one where I thought you went into the pharmacy? Oh, we've done that, that too. too. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I saw the one where you went into the pharmacy. Yeah, that <laughs> one wasn't as much fun as the first Walmart. The first Walmart one was just kind of on a whim, and it was hilarious. Yeah. It was a private thing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't on a live. Yeah, no. Yeah, we could say whatever. Is. We could say yeah, because we could say whatever we want <laughs> backstage. <laughs> Mr. Zed said all the hicks were in his auto shop in his high school. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, I came from a smaller one, too. Hey, there's uh, somebody come in there for you there, Rustic, uh, the Taiwan person. I can't Jocelyn, say that hey there, Miss Jocelyn. How you doing? Jocelyn. Yeah, thank God that Becca's here. Hey, <laughs> hey Jocelyn, how you doing? It's hard for Rustic to read the chat, guys, because he's driving. Yeah, and it's wind's blowing like 30 mile an hour, and it's raining. Oh. I ain't got the wind yet, but it's raining. Oh. Oh. I hear you, Miss JCT. There's a ton of people that they go through school, and, you know, the first thing you always think when you're going through school is, when will I ever use this? You know, yeah. Some thing, yeah, some things I have used and I'm really glad. Um, but and then other things, you know, it's like, man, I have never used it in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I guess they're neat to know, you know, but um, it's like, yeah. I think algebra ought to be required only if you're going to college. I just realized it's daylight enough to see my yard is flooded. Flooded. I almost got a dock for a deck right now. Nice. We going fishing? <laughs> yep, we're gonna sit there and catch worms right off of it. <laughs> it's kind of like math, you know. I mean, you now math. I'm really glad we learned because, you know, you might not always have a calculator around. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, you can use a calculator, but but I'm surprised at how many people out there can't do math without a calculator now as far as calculus and stuff like that okay yeah i'm not using calculus in my life right now so you know yes. yeah something Man, like I'm that just, but, but i'm, I'm really glad I've never, i'm glad i've just never lost a finger or toe or i'd lose count hey <laughs> <laughs> man these sci kids these days don't know much of nothing nope you know school, schools don't prepare kids for anything you know they don't, they don't prepare them at all for life which shop in school of schools nowadays mr zed said well you had the certain groups in high school i was always in my own i made up <laughs> yeah cool. and you know what's funny about that mr zed you had those clicks back then and you know what they're still out there now as adults you know, it blows, why, it blows my mind. That's but, why I don't have Facebook right there, Becca. You hit the nail on the head. That's why I don't have Facebook. I didn't like YouTube. them. Then. I wouldn't like them now. It's a new. It's a YouTube too. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Huh. <laughs> oh no, JC. There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfectly. You're you're perfect. I'm a loner. There's a lot of loners in this family right here. That's why we fish. I go fishing by myself. I love it. it. It gives me a chance to get away from the world. Yeah, you're you're not you're in good Buck. company right now if you're a loner kind of person. That's buggy <laughs> meditating. You can join my club of one. Okay, well yep. now it's a club of two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're in good company right here. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have a couple dogs and go fishing than go to a rock concert or anything these days. Amen. Did y'all ever yeah. have like tree houses or anything like that? When oh, were yeah. We built little... oh, yeah. houses out in the woods. And, yeah. yeah. You had the little club, you know, where as I said, it was all, it's back then. It's now. It's probably in the future. It's just. Yep. But the high school it. clicks, you ain't kidding. They're, they're, some of them are still together talking crap. And 
yeah, they're not for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You had the, what was it, the jocks, and then you had the nerds, and then you had the research owners. Yeah, the smart people. And then you had the, um, the, what about the, grease, the greasers the and the socials. You had the what? stoner. I was a stoner. I drove a 62 micro bus to high school. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, buggy. All right, all right, all right. School, you had, you had yeah. the rich kids, the poor kids. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I grew up on the south side of the tracks. That's how it was in my town. There was the north side and the south side. The south side was the poor working class. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Miss JCT. I know. I know how you feel. Yeah, JC, I'm with you. I, I had one brother. He passed away, and now I care for both of my parents. My father's losing his mind, and my mom can't see. So I'm pretty much alone 24 hours a day, seven days a week, <laughs> except for one week out of the month I get off, and I go down and go fishing with J-Dog. Yeah, but he also has to be. <laughs> yeah, but he all when he's down there at J Dog, he has to babysit these two guys that come down. Yeah, there. these two brothers come down there bothering me. Yeah, that's but part if, of if you hang around, JC, <laughs> you'll see that that <laughs> right, Rusty. This right. is actually kind of a big family of people, and we care about each other. And if something happens, we're there to lend support. So the best part is the only community I've ever found on the internet that was like that. Yeah, buggy's good people. But then again, I ain't never been in, in too yep. many groups on the internet. Said, there's a there's a lot of like communities people. out there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I know. I'm in I'm in a lot of different communities. Yeah. It ain't just the fishing community or whatever they want to call this. Yeah, yeah. It's about camping and all kinds of fishing. Yep. It's the rock community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know the rock they channels, they, they got a good mixture of people. Yep, they got a community. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, the, you have the not done anything wrong at all, honey. You're perfectly fine. Yep. You've done nothing. Miss Jody says, my daughter is a teacher and an assistant principal. Parents complain if the kids have homework. If you think these young people won't work, just imagine how they parent. Phone comes first. Oh, yeah. 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 I worked at a school and I, I was just a custodian one time. But and I seen it. I was like, are you kidding me? I it like driving a school bus or something. I couldn't do it because I'd lose my job the first week. I'd smack some smart mouth kid that talked back to me. What was that? <laughs> what was that movie where um he was the custodian and you had a but he Breakfast was smart. No, mm. he was a custodian. He was he was smart as all get out. And you had, I think it was Robin Williams in it as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, dag nabbit. Now you got me. I know what you're talking about, Becca. Yeah. yeah. He didn't want people to know he was smart and everything. And then, yeah, you know. Back when they still made good movies. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that one where he went in there at nighttime cleaning up and he would solve problems on the board? Yep. Yeah, yep. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name of it. None of us can. <laughs> Somebody will. They'll know. Yeah. Yeah, that was supposed to be the unsolvable problem, and he'd go in there and solve it, and the teacher walk in like, okay, which one of you did this? Yeah. They'd all look at each other like, oh, I don't know. Becca's looking it up. I can hear her clicking. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, it'll, it'll 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 somebody, it. Well, somebody hasn't right. put it in chat yet, so. Nope. I can't think. What was that guy's name? Um, it was also in Goodwill Hunting. It was Matt Damon, wasn't it? Yeah, Matt yep. Damon. Oh, Oops. JC, that's too much. That's what? An hour and a half or two hours drive, you need to move. Mm. And the other one of my favorite sayings is you never heard anyone on their deathbed say the words, I sure wish I'd have worked more. Mm. Oh, hooks up. How are you? Hey, hooks up. 
know. Maybe that was Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, that's the name that's of the one it. That, that's the one that keeps coming up. Well, he was the genius in math. Yep, uh, yeah, that was Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> yeah, Hook, there's a lot of stuff that that the out here. Movie. Especially usually the first two, first hour, hour and a half. It, everybody's still oh, I for a living. What is that, JCT? Yeah. I work now. I deliver tires. <laughs> Awful, Mr. Z said, said, I'm laughing my butt off, broke out the laser, and and I'm not sure what that is. Mauser. 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 cracking me up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The only Bob I can think of is battery operated boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that Mr. Z ain't like that, so. Um, maybe I'm just thinking about myself. Okay, hooks up. <laughs> Keep my eye on you. <laughs> I'm just I'm not sure what a male's is. Oh, maybe that's his cat. The laser. Maybe he's doing the laser on the wall. Uh, okay. Yeah, Mauser and Bob are cracking me up. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe that's the. There you go. I know if I'm right. Yeah, he's doing a laser pointing thing, and the cat's dog, his cat's Jody said. Yeah, he drives yeah his one. cat. <laughs> Sorry, y'all know my mind's always gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, you'll. You'll make Rustic and Eric drive off the road there. They are not. Right, and I'm not going to Walmart today. <laughs> it's not it's like I'm rough. going in there and getting it and letting it, you know, vibrate here on the live stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uncle Lou said Curtis. <laughs> Uncle Lou said Curtis will chase that laser as well. <laughs> <laughs> they said, oh, my God, Becca. <laughs> I know, Mr. Z. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep myself out of trouble today, Becca. I will keep myself out of trouble. Why is today any different than any other day? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it's right. raining. And I had a hard day yesterday. <laughs> well, that's exact. Never mind. I ain't even going to say it. There you go. <laughs> uh, Ms. JCT says, I just did 40 days fruit and veggies not to lose weight. Too much Flour, flour, sugar, sugar wheat, wheat, but I dropped two sizes that I wasn't fat. Yeah, I know you're um you're small, Miss JCT. I know Miss JCT from a different community. I will have to go back and clip that out though, come to think of it. Clip what out? The quote you made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say it. I make a lot of them. The two, it's right around the two hour mark. Okay. The go hey, back 205. Good morning. Room and get it or whatever quote. Oh, you don't need to make a clip of that. Yeah. Uh, I'll go back. Yeah, I'll go back, Mr. Because I, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> battery, I'm still making, battery, I'm still making clips of me and I'll, I'll, I won't come in here anymore. <laughs> batteries. Oh. I need batteries. <laughs> Mine plugs in. <laughs> Hey there, 205. How you doing? <laughs> I'm she said daily facial. Black. My face is luminous. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first clip that's ever been made of me. I don't know how to make clips, so you're safe there. I just, just saved the audio from it. Mr. Mikey you made one too. Yeah, oh my goodness. But there are a whole lot of easy ones that I'm letting slide right now. <laughs> well, usually it's easier if you let it slide. It's always best when it slides. <laughs> I thought you were going to be nice. <laughs> Go let it slide. Yeah, I'm being nice today. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe I didn't think that that about Goodwill Hunting. That's the one movie I know the name of, and I wasn't even thinking it was the same one. 
Yeah. It's usually how it is. You have it on your mind, and next thing you know, you're you, all you do is picture them, but you can't think mm-hmm. of the name of the movie. Matt Damon. He did actually. He did a lot of good movies. Yep. Who, oh, Matt Damon or Robert Williams? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Both of them have been. The Bourne. All the Bourne movies are good. I like all the Bourne movies. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Now the one he did he did good in this movie, but it's the one where he um what was the name of that one the where he um impersonated that guy you know for all, for to make money. Um, what was the name of that one? Jay? I don't know the name of that one either. I can I can see it clear as day. Um, golly, I could, I didn't realize he was in so many movies. Yep. Him and his buddy Ben Affleck. Of course, Martian was good. I liked that one. He did really good in that one. Martian. Yeah, you don't remember the Martian? No, but do you remember the movie Martian that he did? Oh yeah, that yeah, one was yeah, yeah that one was the, awesome. Di- different Martian movie there, rustic. <laughs> <laughs> Eco <Eagle> block. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're thinking like the Fred Flintstone type thing movie. And of course, Saving Private Ryan. That was a good one. You know what? I don't see yeah. that one that I'm talking about. Uh, I love Private Ryan. Um. <laughs> Heck, oh, somebody got my going. That's not mine. All right. Bug here, you kid. Buggy. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> she said that's not mine. <laughs> I mean, I would admit it if it, you know. <laughs> you mean you been say I'm, it's not me doing that. <laughs> Zed turned right, Becca. Zed said, Becca, turn it off. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. It's okay. <laughs> oh mercy, that's funny now. I got to you right now. <laughs> it's not mine. You know what keep I it, really want to know it. is who who actually was doing that. Keep it between the lines there, Rustic. I'm gonna have to back <laughs> up and see whose little icon was was a was a flashing you know, like keep, that when they talk. Yeah. Hey, keep <laughs> keep it between the lines there, Rustic. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, trying to wipe a tear out of my eye, man. It was funny. Just brought tears to my eye. Like you're doing that. <laughs> Becca, you're killing me here today. Well, obviously, obviously, they weren't doing it right because I didn't hear no moaning or anything. That's, Zed thinks he has an idea who it is. <laughs> you, you got buggy everybody, awake now. Everybody's still thinking they're laughing. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. I'm gonna have to go back and see whose thingy was flashing. Whose <laughs> thingy was flashing? Yeah. That was priceless. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, Mr. Curtis's was gone for quite a bit. <laughs> ah, now I say his it is now. Somebody got a nanner cleaner. <laughs> oh, shoot. Inspector Becca. <laughs> Y'all been on Timu shopping again? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't tell me they got that crap on there, too. Yep. What is it oh. they called in some of them? Uh, Advertising maggot, you know, you can buy cheap stuff. Where they call it the massager. This is the massager. You can buy a massager. <laughs> you know, that's not what that is. <laughs> the two, three, one. Well, technically, it is a massager too. And, yeah, as a matter <laughs> of fact, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be serious. And Miss JCT, yeah, I agree. Streamyard is better um, than Zoom, um, but Zoom is cheaper. You know, so. Um, but there's a doctor out there. Uh, what was his name? Um, I I subscribe to him. 
And he's really, I love the stuff he says. Well, one day, you know, his little thing, my little, the notification came up for him. And all of a sudden it showed him with the vibrator and he was doing his face. And <laughs> he was. And he sat there and he said that these, those, those same, and I mean, I, I know which one he has. Okay. And the, um, you have to own it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know, I know which one. He never said the name of it because obviously, and matter of fact, that's the only video that I've ever seen that he's turned off his comments on. Um, but he was saying how if you take those, it doesn't matter if it's that or if it's something else. He just happened to use that one. Um, but, and you do your um, face like that that it rejuvenates all your muscles in your face. And it, I mean, there's a lot of health benefits from it as well. Yeah. I'm going to have to pass on that one. Kind of like yeah. daily facials. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really, that, that's exactly what he used. But as I said, that's the only one that he actually turned his comments off. I think something smells fishy there. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it really does. It really does. It's so different because, you know, they make face massagery out there. Oh yeah. You know, that, that's kind of like <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up again. Um, I put the link in there to it. You can probably find it on Timu. <laughs> no, not this one. You can't. I don't know. They got some stuff in there now. No, this one's more than a hundred bucks. <laughs> Zed said, Bugman Rustic up there taking notes. <laughs> I don't need to take notes, Zed. I wrote that book. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I've been around a while. I want to say his name is Motivational Doc, I think. It's all out there if you want to look for it. <laughs> hey, 922 Crappie Barbecue. Yeah, Good and morning. he's a motivational uh, dog. Uh, I mean, he's a, I mean, he's a real about? doctor. Yeah, he's got. Too, it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not a good time right now to be trying to do any kind of work and listen. He's yeah. got uh, eight and a half million subscribers. Hey, Rustic. Nine two two crappy barbecue said, "Do you know how hard, how difficult it is to do paperwork while listening to this show?" <laughs> 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 No, how how hard is it? <laughs> hey, you don't mind a bug man. You don't tell what you're gonna hear. <laughs> hey, Zed, I'm just being I'm just being really nice today. This ain't my show, so I mean there have been so many things I could have made fun of today right now and I didn't. Yeah. This this is all rustic right here. So many porn <laughs> references that I could have thrown out there related to the chat. Hey, I'm just driving because I ain't got no control right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny needs to repaint their lines up here, man. When it gets wet, you can't see nothing on that road. I'm trying to look for that one. Um, or maybe I saved it. Could be in your watch list. It, yeah, it could be. Oh, your this watch was later. this was. I think this was a few months, a couple months ago, or something. So it'd be way back there. Uh, plus, and you can't ah, you can't search your own um liked ones or whatever. I need. Well, I'm telling well, you, I, mean, I was gonna say you could go into your subscriptions and look for them. I know that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I've got him pulled up. I just since he wasn't advertising what that thing was. I mean, I knew exactly what oh, it was. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, since he wasn't advertising, it's not in the title like that. So yeah, facial massagers or something like that. Well, mm -hmm. I tried to put that in. Seems to be dead here himself. <laughs> <laughs> vibrator facial dildo facial well uh, technically it's not no he's not like little boy had it show and tell it called him up his time he pulls out that vibrator and says look i found a rocket <laughs> i brought a rocket school it buzzes <laughs> and everything like, and like oh my god yeah his mom was so embarrassed yeah you know he tells you of so many things that are actually true um, things that you can do, you know, even natural things that you can do. 
and like if you have a hard time sleeping or I mean just all kinds of things okay JCT what's your favorite show I'm gonna keep scrolling. I'm gonna, I still want to see if I can find search it. facial vibrator. <laughs> I tried that, it didn't come yeah, up. I bet you did. There's probably <laughs> quite a few on that one. <laughs> no, I'm on I'm on his channel and I'm um oh yeah, I'm just searching his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely don't go to Google and search facial vibrator. <laughs> Why what comes up? I don't know. <laughs> Buggies gonna find out though. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've got that in my notes for the day. <laughs> uh, I'm telling y'all, it's um. Nine two two crappy barbecue said a six pack of beer and I'll sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't drank so long. I quit drinking so many years ago. I smell when I pass out. <laughs> I was gonna say like one, one and a half. We're out of here, rustic. <laughs> He just he just does so many um videos. That... Oh, it was for the neck. Nice JC. <laughs> I've seen the commercial tour of the ad. <laughs> I know I know what you're exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean he's only got like almost five thousand videos. Oh, uh, this is priceless. Only it's gonna be a good day today. Except for my yards <laughs> flooded. Like worse than it was the other time. It's all the way up onto the stoop. Well, the pond is about halfway up the yard. Then between it and the deck, there's a whole nother little lake thing forming. Oh, wow. Low spot there. Uh, it won't get up to the house, thank goodness, but it's close. I knew we had a lot of rain today or last night. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, butters ain't coming over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Butters will come over in the rain. He don't care. <laughs> yeah, my That's why I got to I gotta clean the window yeah. out there every week or so because he comes out and nose. scratches on the door. Oh, I thought he was leaving his nose print on there. Hey, buggy, I'm here <laughs> for my treat. <laughs> Where are you? I see you back here hiding behind a computer. <laughs> yeah. Don't act like that, you don't see me. That one <laughs> little chew toy or the chew rope thing that gets unshredded or whatever that he stole a while back come in and stole it out there was one laying on the floor yesterday and i seen him looking at it i was like don't you even think about stealing that <laughs> i had to pick it up and move it he was about three quarters of the way in the door yesterday uh oh wow yeah i said what are you doing in my backup get out my, i ain't got no treat today anyhow i still mom felt sorry for him and went and got a piece of cheese and gave him some cheese <laughs> <laughs> i was like would you stop encouraging that dog <laughs> stop encouraging that dog <laughs> and then he had a new there collar. it is right there oh you know what he does say vibrate during the title <laughs> huh well, post the link. You got me worried. I got to watch it now. I'm all excited. I mean, my <laughs> <interest>. <laughs> the title was What a Vibrator Does to Our Brain. Oh, well, shoot. I can tell oh, you no. that. Let <laughs> <laughs> me copy the link. It makes you extremely relaxed. Two minutes, two minutes a day builds collagen. Of course, I don't have the volume up right here, but I mean, he did a short on it. Yeah, and that's just the that's the one he disabled the comments on. <laughs> I imagine. So. Okay, uh -huh. here you go. <clears throat> Can you imagine the jokes that would come out on that? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, his name is Doctor Mandel. And by doctor, they mean he got a degree in something. He's not a, a medical doctor. <laughs> no, he's uh, no, he's a real I doctor. No, I'm messing with you today. There you go. I'll put that in the chat. There you go. Watch all 15 people sit there and go to it. <laughs> <laughs> if they all leave, we know what happened. <laughs> uh, you got to have more than one device. You know what? And I did. I did like that video. I need to change. I need to move it to a uh, to a playlist. 
the how to playlist. How to use a vibrator list. <laughs> no, I just have a how to playlist. Um, let's see, what does he say in uh, he looks like a nut. He's not <laughs> a nut. He's not a nut. Like Go figure, buddy. Would we'll check it out. One hundred dollars. Buggy would check it out. <laughs> he's not a nut. Yeah, he's a nut case. He is not a nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm subscribing. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about the ideas, but... He talks uh, even like, you know, the apple cider vinegar, you know, that I take. Yeah, you've seen that one. Yeah. I mean, he talks about it. He talks about how you can take um, a tea bag, which is uh, the. Uh, I don't think of which one that is. Yeah, uh, chamomile. One I could use. yeah, the chamomile. And uh, you can put it under your nose and just smell the tea bag itself. Do that like called? 10 times or something real. And it helps you sleep. It helps you fall asleep. Oh, wow. Hey, Tim, catfish dog. I had a you whole different go? idea about tea bags. Or Tim. I'll let that go. <laughs> I bet you did, buggy. <laughs> right. What's that say? What did he say? This is Ooh, release, uh, the what? Yeah, I can't see that. Yeah, that stupid heart's in the way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of that thing. In Me door, neither. What? You, you have to do get it. Rid of them. That's yeah, the you, part. you do it in your YouTube studio. Well, oh, okay. want me to do that oh my God. I got to go do that right now. I hate that thing. Me no, too. the creator, the live stream creator has to do it. The he heart, you mean? Yeah, that little heart that sits in the chat yeah. box. So there's yeah. no way for us to disable it on our screen, huh? Right. No. You can't, but the, the live stream creator can disable it for the live stream. Yeah, that's what yeah. you're saying. It's back and forth. Zed, call me one day or I'd call her and let her walk me through that. Zed, Zed said, Tim, you ought to do one of them face, facial vibrator commercials. <laughs> Mr. Reason, Matt, I, that's, I mean, that's I, a real thing. It's a, it's, he just Matt, happened to use Matt that went, to do it with. Matt, Matt went and checked out the link. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm saying, yeah, I gotta go see that. Yeah, that thing not is called everything a wand. Is, is, Yeah, not everything is bad. And they're extremely okay. popular. Is, is that said, is that Mr. Clink? Tools. Go on there and say, check out my new demon dragon. It, it buzzes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it just when that short when that short came out because I said I do watch a lot of his stuff. Now I miss a lot of it too because he does so many. But um, but when that short came across and I saw that I was like, okay, I gotta click to see what he's saying about this. And um, and that yeah, it was that. And I I mean I've tried it and it really does. It does exactly what he says. Good morning, first time casting adventures. He said, hey, rustic and everyone. FTCA, hey there, how you doing? I like that. Hey, FTCA. Morning, Clyde. I know Fresno's watching. He's always sneaking around watching. What up? Uh, he is he's rustic. He's he's not watching right now because he's on that other on that other site. Oh, <laughs> he's going to Amy. He's going to Amazon to order him one of them. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Well, as I said, that's a that's a. I mean, it's not as pricey as some out there, but I mean, I'm sure you could probably use a different kind of vibrator, you know, to do it yeah. with. I wouldn't think you would have to use that exact one because that one, the one that he's shown, is is it's more than a hundred bucks. Yeah. Good morning, Miss Cindy. Yeah, they're big money. The one ain't go buy nothing off Amazon. He gonna go find it on Timu. Yeah. yeah, it's the original. You know, you notice, you know he plugs <laughs> in. It doesn't run on battery; just battery, I think. There's no, those are those are rechargeable. Yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna say rechargeable or plug in. Yeah, you just plug them in to recharge them, and they stay yeah. charged up for I don't know, geez, like I don't you know. Plug it in twice. Just, you can leave it plugged or in and like just that. use it plugged in too, and it'll never go dead. Good you morning, Dave. You can. I mean, I, I just, it don't take long for them to charge, really. Or at least. Hey there, Miss Candy. How you doing? 
<laughs> Matt. Huh? Can't get slow here, but that's what it is. Power plant. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I mean, that's just. I mean, it is what it is. It's not. You know, it's just it effective. Is. It's effective life. It's what it is. <laughs> hey, Jimmy Geiger. Remember that. Yeah. Hey, morning, <laughs> We're learning a lot about vibrators this morning. Thanks, Becca. <laughs> and, and facials. And facials. Don't forget those. Yeah, you got to remember, that's what he was using that for. He wasn't being dirty or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just trying hey to there, miles right now, so. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Jimmy. How you doing? I mean, I'm just trying to educate y'all on a few things. Mm. Ed educate. Airs broke back, Bob. Bob Blue. Do you hey know there, he was Mr. listening? Bob, how you that's, doing? That's somebody that's on T move a lot. <laughs> Old broke back, Bob. You know, Bob, he's he's probably ordering one of them rustic. <laughs> I, I, I don't ain't no telling what he's ordering. <laughs> All we need is Uncle John to pop up. <laughs> and you know, to be honest with you, there's a lot of people, you know, I mean you might not have one of those, but but for the people out there that maybe do have one of them, then now you have another use for it as well. So I mean it's knowledge is knowledge is everything. <laughs> Miss Cindy I mean, said, they, Wow, wow, rustic before daylight. It's like Cindy after dark. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> This is not bad. Well, we know what you're ordering, Bob. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> I still say something smells fishy about that, or it would be. <laughs> See, y'all are making it dirty. <laughs> it's really not. You think? <laughs> but it, it really is what it is. You know, as I said, it's, it works. Well, at least he didn't say it. it massages the tongue good, too. No, you can't. You can't. You can't put it on your tongue. Taste yeah, Mr. you Michael. can't put it on your tongue. You wouldn't want it to vibrate your teeth. Mr. Michael Morella said, G.I. Joe said that knowing is half the battle. <laughs> it's not. Hey, Good morning, Mr. Morella. Good morning, Mr. Morella. I'll stick with Miss Becca. I'll learn y'all a few things. <laughs> Matt, G.I. Joe, the real American hero. Go, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Rustic woke up and said, "Hey, I'm going to do a live this morning." I didn't think it was going to be like this. <laughs> oh, Miss Place said her radishes are coming up already. You know, those make they, there's so many things you can do with radishes. Um, I mean, so that one there looked like it was Bucky. I love me, man. <laughs> This is a long wake up. Good morning, Cindy. Oh, Miss Cindy, I ain't gonna sing that morning, song up Cindy. here on Mr. Rustic's live stream. <laughs> ain't no way I'm gonna sing that up here. <laughs> my car's about to do my <laughs> There's way too Somebody many people did. in here. Uh, I'll blame that on me, Bob. <laughs> Um, yes, there is, Miss uh, Miss Place. You know, and you know, obvious and really, the deer love them too. Well, like Bob, really. technically, it's only new to him. He bought it in a rummage sale. <laughs> hey, hey, Miss Becca. Uh -huh. My mama said hi. Oh, hi there, Miss PR. How you doing? She said she hadn't heard or seen from you in a while. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been busy. Yep. That's why I told her she was still in the process of moving and all that stuff. Hello to the creators of the Brothers of Destruction. <laughs> Rustic said hi, Mom. <laughs> but the brother. Yeah, yeah, the brother. What's a prostate tickler? Please explain. The deer <laughs> love those tops <laughs> with paste. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they end up throwing away the tops to the radishes and they make awesome salads. But you can really use them anyway. You use taters. Not a rat. I'm not what well, radishes you can. Radishes, uh huh. Good Lord, it's I stuff, what I call, I call hey, potato salad or or rash browns. 
or Ranch browns. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I make all kinds of things like that. Or I'll make like a green chili stew, and sometimes I'll put the the mm. um, radishes in place of the taters because you know it's a lot less carbs, and and you can't tell and you can't tell the difference anyway once they get opaque like that. Really? Then that's what they that's what they kind of taste like. They taste like new taters. They're not mm. identical, okay, but they but they you know they taste a lot like them. <laughs> the chip with the rest is gnarly. Bob. <laughs> uh, I never knew that about radishes. I've never eaten a radish before, so. Oh, yeah. If it takes that, because a lot of people don't like radishes because of the, quote, like spiciness in them, basically. And mm -hmm. if you boil them, then, and you wait long enough, if you boil them long enough, it starts where they get kind of a little opaque looking. It yeah. pulls all that out. And then what you have left is like this little tiny, you know, like a new tater. Yeah. And yeah. And you can, then you can slice them up or I've, uh, I have, um, I have fried them and everything, you know, make you a little white yeah, we sauce. Still garden with kids. We'd go out there and pull radishes and eat them. Now, we used to go acquire tomatoes out of my neighbor's garden when I was a kid. When we were sleeping out, we would grab, steal a salt shaker out of the house and go grab tomatoes. Bob is wrong, ain't he? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I was at Flats Over Luke and caught that one comment. <laughs> yeah, Bob. That's not what you're JCG, supposed to do. you better hang on out in there. You hang in here. You're doing good. You made it this far through this group. That's of right. Reasons. You got to stay to the end now. Bob, that's not what you're supposed to be doing with the radish, you knucklehead. <laughs> yep, I've seen people use them like turnip, you know, uh, turnips as well. That's one thing I've I just can't believe how many people time. throw away the, the tops of them. I've never had asparagus turnip, either. Turnip greens, I like those, but the turnip I've never really cared for. You're not bothering us, you uh, big knuckle brain. We want you to stay, JC, so you just hang in here with us for today. And you come back tomorrow, right. too. You're not what bothering nobody. Day, Thursday? It'll be my show tomorrow under Bugman. Come by. It's not as good as this one's been, though. This has been a good show. <laughs> I, um, I... Nobody knew that Becca was going to teach us about vibrators today. <laughs> my, my, my cheeks are hurting so bad. That, <laughs> JCT contributed. She taught us about facials and the uh, was it foliation or the exfoliation or whatever it does for your skin. We're learning. I know that's what today. that's what made me think of this is because of her comment. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh. You asked Miss Fetty, she might send you the left. No, Bob, no. <laughs> <laughs> no you gotta read that out loud. I can't. No, no, no. no. It's yeah, saying, no, I can't. Um, Brokeback Bob says, Curtis, if you ask Miss Cindy, she might send you the leftover barbecue sauce <laughs> in the empty jar. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Miss Wendy said she'll put some water in it and send it on. <laughs> Y'all need uh, Jesus. <laughs> oh man. Yes, sir. Wanna be outdoors. We definitely do. I'll be there. I'm gonna have to go to salvation. I'm gonna have to go to church today. Mr. Yep. Z, you know that's one thing I ain't never used is I used the cucumbers uh for my eyes. <laughs> So I, I'm not really sure if that works, but I've heard it works. I mean, like for the puffiness around your now, eye. See, there's another clip at 234. I've never used cucumbers and you can cut it right there. I, I don't think I usually have real puffy uh, eyes, though, um, unless I've stayed up a really, really long you time. Go, you go to the massage places like that and they that spa. They they put cucumbers on the eyes. I don't know if they actually do anything, but I guess the coldness of them. I've had cucumber water. 
you know, I've done where you're supposed you slice up cucumbers and you put yep. them in your water. Yep, mm -hmm. I've had that. Yeah. Hey, hey, rustic fast time, fast time casting adventures wants to know where you're headed. I'm headed to Manila, Arkansas to babysit my youngest grandbaby. Well, uh, my daughter's going on a field trip with my son for school to so she can supervise, help supervise the kids. I think we might need some supervision in here. <laughs> yeah, Rustic. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We, we might need some supervision in here. <laughs> yeah, well, who's going to supervise? <laughs> yeah. They all done left. They said, oh, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got 20-some people watching. Y'all make sure you hit them thumbs up for Rustic. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bob. That's very sweet of you to say, and I surely do appreciate that. <laughs> Don't use it like that. Yeah, Bob. I'm not too far from Manila now. I'm telling you, man, we've I've been driving through some downpours. He said, be careful out there driving, Rustic. Yeah, Eric, too. He's like it's raining on him. Oh, yeah. Sprinkler right there. It looks like it's pouring over there, Rustic. Oh, it was. I just got through driving through a downpour. And it quit for a second. Now it's starting back up. How's it been for me, too, today? But I'm in the bug man philosophy. Don't pay to be in a hurry. Pay's better to take your time. There you go. Life's yeah. much better if you don't hurry. Yeah, I think they're going on a field trip somewhere down in Jonesboro, Arkansas. I don't know what they're doing. Well, you got that they right, Mr. Bug. West Memphis or something. I don't know. I think it's Jonesboro. Miss Play said she'll be planting pickling cucumbers, English ones, and lemon ones this year. Now, I've never had a lemon one. Mm. Lemon cucumber? That's what it says. Whoa, I love lemon. I love water hole. I love lemons and I love cucumbers, and I've just never had one put together. I wonder if it does. It uh, have you ever had them misplaced? Does it does a cucumber bring out like a does it does the lemon like come out in it, or is it they're just a raisin? They're called lemon cucumbers. I don't know. I was thinking about planting me, starting me a garden again. Then I walk outside and look at my beautiful green yard, and I thought I just can't tear that grass up. <laughs> now nah, the moles will take care of that for you, buddy. <laughs> well, I could always plant corn in their trail, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah. I'm just messing with you. Little, those little turds, I hate them things. Y'all are getting all that rain that I've had the last few days. Today, it, yep. I think today's supposed to be where it's not raining now, I think. Yeah, appreciate you sending that yeah, to us, Becca. <laughs> Send it yeah, like, oh, that rain. We get rain in yeah. some her direction. Yeah. I thought you meant the link to that video. <laughs> no, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the few that didn't hit that link. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Let's see. She said lemon cucumber are mild flavor, round like a lemon and yellow. Yes, I have had them before. But do they, do they taste? I mean, do you taste a lemon flavor coming out of them? I know you said they're mild, but do you actually taste them? I ain't never even heard of them. I've heard that. I just have not I've never had one. Squash. I like squash. Zucchini. Zucchini. I hate carrots. I had a sleepy face today. I like your sleepy face on her. We'll go back to sleep. If only to big yarn. You ain't gonna want to go out today. It's raining out there, man. I don't know what we're gonna do. Hmm? What do you think? You're gonna make oh, me go I'm out with the umbrella. Okay, she said no lemon flavor. It just has a mild cucumber flavor. Okay, come on. Oh, it no, just, just looks, kind of looks like a lemon. That's why they call it then. Yeah, I'll just stick with the regular one then. I thought maybe I thought maybe a little bit of a lemon would come out in it. Mm -hmm. Well, he's such a good guy. 
who's the best puppy in Mr. the world? Mr. Bob says, so from bibs to cucumbers, I think the bat trees went dead. Yes. <laughs> he's a good puppy today. Yes, he is. Sounds like, sounds like Bob's going to have to go to the store. What, is he out of lotion food? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get boy. <laughs> get some kisses from my body. Aggies right now, he's keeping too many people in the house, ain't they? <laughs> Mom got yeah. up too early, didn't she, huh? She said, Mom got up too early, Dad. I didn't want to get up yet. I was still sleeping. <laughs> you let me cut these nails here pretty quick, buddy. Huh? Yeah, well, Buggy's about to hit the Red Bull. I got one more in the fridge. I'm getting ready to go get it. But little guy come up here and jumped up and wanted to give me some morning lovings because he just woke up. What did he say? Rustic, Rustic what? Rustic pixels. If you're talking about Zed. Set up pixels. Yeah. Don't look like pixels to me. I don't know. Just I see the raindrops well, in your, in your windshield. Yeah, I was going to say I see raindrops in yeah. your windshield. I don't know if that's what he's talking about. Yeah. I'm going to go back to bed. Hmm? Usually I lose signal for a bed. second when I come in across that state line right there. Oh, yeah. He's a good boy. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Bob said, I like it dirty, Eric Bugman. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say there, dry. Bob? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, he said dry. He said dry. What did I yeah. say? Dirty. Dirty. Oh. Well, he probably does that too. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I said. I just happened to glance over. Check out this dead man's curve right here. Monkey, mommy, huh? oh, he said the monkey oh, man rustic. There's something good in there. Oh, Mom. my. Bob called really me the monkey, monkey man. man. He is the monkey man. Oh yeah, all them things that he pushes on uh post on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> all the monkey pictures. Oh yeah. Especially of Uncle John. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he, he gets shot hard time on everyone. Yeah. I almost I thought about them. I almost uh, I started to do this one short about this big gorilla on there and I thought about them, but then <laughs> But then I, I don't know. I baked off of it just because I think I want to <laughs> save it and use it for something else. <laughs> right outside Man, I love I love doing those. I love doing those little shorts. <laughs> I don't get to do a lot of videos. Yeah. I said I don't get to do a lot of videos right now. <laughs> Up again. Did you hear? 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 Did you Something, come on now, join the party. I think that's what it says because that stupid heart's in the way. We'll get it. He said, We'll get it. How come you're not reading it on uh, StreamYard? I don't know. I got it He's, on the laptop. Yeah, I'm just sitting there looking at it. It shows that stupid heart. I know, but the heart is not on StreamYard, it's only on the YouTube side. Well, oh, you. that's right. Miss Beck, come up on my panel. My blue gonna start dropping. Little lady monkeys. <laughs> oh, there's a hang on. Something dropped a big old pothole right there. Mm. Yeah, we're missing a couple people this morning. Old John from Smallwater Charters and uh, Gabriel Skywalker. 
Hey, they're not subscribed to me, I don't guess. <laughs> oh, them, them little punk. I thought Gabe was subscribed to everybody. Yeah, Rustic, now you know who's subscribed and who ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they didn't get the notification, did they? <laughs> yeah. Bob said 25 likes and 26 are for Miss Becca and one for Rustic and none for Curtis. They want rebates for Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that's the way that was for when I was over there on the Hog Legs channel, too. <laughs> Curtis still waiting for his paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eric, 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 blah, blah, Eric, Eric, blah, 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 Eric, Eric. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait till I sit in the build a rustic. Oh, mercy. It's going to cost one bag of M&M's. The peanut one. The, and don't get cheap on me either, Rustic. <laughs> I want that family. I want the family bag. <laughs> want the family bag. Yeah. Let's, you know what? Let's, Rustic will send you the bag. It'll be empty. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. He wanted one bag. I can, see one, one. I can see Rustic doing that too. Dump these out in the bowl. Send the bag to you. <laughs> I see Uncle Lou doing that to me too. <laughs> hey, Eddie Gross. Good morning. Morning, Eddie. Hi there, Mr. Eddie. How you doing? Morning, Eddie. He bought coffee. It sounds like sounds like pops and moms awake over there at Buggy Place. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we'll off. Hey, Buggy, mom's over at the uh, coffee grinder again. <laughs> yeah. Well, she she had it all over the floor last time. Oh. We had we had um reports uh almost tennis ball size hail with Oof, these storms nah. last. Wow. Yeah, the insurance claims are going to be soaring for the spring mm -hmm. over. I'd be glad when they contact me and tell me, hey, we're going to come pick a car up. We'll yeah. Get it in the shop. That buggy singing in the background? No. <laughs> I know it's the TV. <laughs> I was going to say, buddy, you're doing a good job back here. <laughs> TV's loud, ain't it? Yeah. You can always tell when mom and pops wake up. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he says mom can't hear very well anyhow. Yeah. Pops can't either. Well, he can hear better than mom. His mom goes over and tells him something, yells in his ear. <laughs> yeah. Bob said I had an estimate for a new roof for ooh, twenty three thousand. That is crazy. Dang, Bob. Dang. Yep, that's what they you go for. Right? Anything with that new roof? I had to put a roof on this place too. So yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I put a new you roof ever... on mine and it cost me about like ninety eight hundred dollars. Ish now. Right, it depends on your roof and their size and, and all that. Yep. And the kind of shingles or the kind of you know, kind of roofing you have and yeah, the shingles I, I got on mine, they uh they they come out in California, they're using them, so I'm the first one in the state of Missouri to have them on their house. During the day that you can look at it, walk inside the house, look up, they'll go from gray, blue, purple, haze looking, I mean, all kinds of stuff. 
Me, I'd rather have a metal roof. I love the sound of the rain hitting a metal roof. Yep. What the heck? They got a brand new truck sitting here. What the hell? I didn't get Bro. quiet, Mr. Bob. I'm sorry. I was um, replying to some text messages. Yeah, um, Bob. Silverado. She does have yeah. a life, Bob. <laughs> What's Bob want you to do? Just talk to him only? <laughs> what you want to talk about, Mr. Bob? We can talk. <laughs> it depends on the pitch of your roof. Also, mine is 9 yeah. and 12. Yeah, that's what I said. It depends on the kind, how it's built, and how many, uh, how many, like, if you got dog houses in it, or, I mean, you've got a lot of odd shaped and how many men, you know, they bring out to do it with? Yeah, Bob is a typical V-roof style. Morning, Mr. Tully. Bob is odd-shaped. Hey, Mr. Tully. I bet I had, golly, it seemed Tully. like there was at least 20 guys up there on the top of my roof. <laughs> I should picture Miss Beck out there in a lawn chair and a glass of tea going, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> this the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't I didn't I, I didn't like being under 20 men. Uh, and they were playing their music and it's not my music and so and they were playing it really loud and you know of course the whole time room. all you do is hear banging and you know and everything and it's getting hot in here. Yeah, that's what they doing on my roof. They had a big radio up there playing Mexican music, blaring it loud. Yeah, How makes you, you always. Lee, how you doing, man? Makes you always wish you would have took it uh, Spanish. That way, you could have said something to them. Hey, turn the radio down. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or in their own language. Hey, I like that song. Turn it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you always turning the good songs down? Man, I wonder where they got that black Silverado. That is a beautiful truck. Yeah. Who's, yeah. Who's Mexican he did? The Silverados are a nice truck. Bob said he is odd and he is proud. <laughs> you go, Bob. <Bobaloo. laughs> That's right. Man, that is a beautiful truck. Now I got uh, hiccups. Well, that daggum thing got a hell of a hood scoop on it. I guess that's the one they're going to buy. I'm not sure. Bob is an odd little fella. My roof between my shop and house is a 44 squares. Wow. Yeah, another day of rain. Tomorrow it's supposed to be nice, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My backyard's so flooded, I had to take the dog out on the leash and go find somewhere there wasn't standing water and use the bathroom. I thought you were going <laughs> to say I had to take the boat out oh, and take sorry. the dog. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were going to say you're going to take that little boat out there and take the dog out. <laughs> I think that water is affecting my soul, my septic system. Oh, yeah. Good if you got in ground, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. It's in, and uh, I just mm -hmm. flushed the toilet a second ago and it gurgled in the shower, and I'm like, oh, that's not good. Yeah. Mm. So I told mom, don't do no laundry or anything today. Mm hmm. I wonder if I have to get it pumped out now or something. I don't know. Uh oh, uh -oh. Huh? Yeah. Uh -oh Rustic. There's uh, Uncle Ernie downtown, Ernie Brown's in here. Hey, Ernie. Thinking it's starting trouble in here already. Yeah, when uh, if you got lease lines running out, it's going to the net ground's that saturated. Oh, yeah, you'll have to get that pumped out. You think I will? Yeah, because it's going to take a it'll take a long time for that to seep out of there. Yeah, it's got a tank and then the leak 
The leak system. Yeah, it's plugged in. Ernie said it shouldn't need pump. It shouldn't? Okay. I don't know. Have you seen the water in his yard? <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't think you guys will say Ernie hadn't seen it. Catfish Dog said you, you need the leach field. To, it is flooded. Your leach field is flooded. Oh, Please yeah. They're standing water where the leach field is. Hi there, Mr. Sure. Ernie. Hold on, Ernie. Put me on uh, solo real quick. I'll show you, Ernie. Oh. oh, wait, I got to turn my cam on, don't I? Yeah. I, I know. I'm not <laughs> waiting yet. That's my you back would... card. Oh, crap. And, That's closer than it was last time. Oh, yeah. Where my thumb is, the black dot, about probably 20 feet from there is where the septic tank is. Oh, yeah. Mm. You go. And then yeah, on the other side of the house is where the finger system is. Hmm. Catching some creek chub out in your backyard here soon. Oh, okay. yeah, Ernie, I wouldn't get it pumped out until the water's gone. So at least it quits raining and what's out there soaks into the ground. <laughs> we just have to be real careful on how much water we use right now. Oh, Pump yeah. Pump hose and run it over towards the neighbor's yard. <laughs> Yeah, six, eight, two, always dig a trench. Or two, My yard looks really, really nice. I, mean, I don't know where I'd trench it to. The pond behind me is part of the drainage ditch. You know what I mean? It's part of the drain for the field system all to the south of me going to the north. Okay, yeah, I'll just have to wait it out. That's what I thought. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> uh, what, you know, would it, be, would it be my life right now if something didn't happen at least once uh, a week to make me have to worry about something else? You know what I mean? Yeah. At least Dad's health is doing good right now, so I just talk to the and thank the Lord for that. Yeah, that's good. Oh. I don't even I, see a light on in my daughter's house yet. I hate <laughs> rain. Buggy, you hate cloudy days. Yeah, I do, man. Gray cloudy days, they depress me. They're not good well, for it. Yeah, they're not good I love for fishing anybody. on cloudy days. Yeah. Me too. When it's hot. God, it don't have to be hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah, Curtis no. don't like the Dude, sun. Did, He's allergic to the sun. Out with what a yeah. great start of the day. Okay, Zed, we appreciate you coming in. I hope we made yep. you laugh a lot. <laughs> See you, hey, Zed, me, man. Come back and hang out, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, do me a favor, Zed. Hit that thumbs up for us, buddy. Yeah, we'll Have see you tomorrow morning on Bugman. Yep, yep. Bugman will be live in the morning. Yep, yep. it'll be over on Bugman. 5 a.m. Be there, be square. Or it could start a little later. Little guy usually wakes up about 4.30 to go pee, so that works out pretty good, actually. I was going to say the same thing, Bob. He said, where's that John Euler at? I need someone to pick on. <laughs> Did we lose JC? No, yeah. here. no I'm in, in the chat. It, I think they must have bugged out. Oh, poor thing. We, I tried to let, let her know that she's fine here not to worry about anything. Uh, I imagine he's watching, Bob. I imagine he's Good morning, watching. Skip. <laughs> Good morning, Skip. He may be driving. Where do you say Mr. Skip? Chill, he, he's over here at work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought he was in chat. <laughs> nah, no. In there. no, that's why you, if you heard the, the horn honking, I was honking the horn I always do when I go by. Because his right? office faces the street, so he sees me drive by. Cindy said doing a giveaway show in a couple of weeks. There you go, Miss Cindy. Is she giving away Travis? <laughs> 
I was about to say, why are you giving away Travis? Yeah. yeah. He should be at least awake. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Bob, said, Bob said, Rustic, it's no fun picking on. He just laughs. <laughs> yep. Miss <laughs> Sandy, you need to get, you need to give away some of those facial massagers. <laughs> I just like the idea of a daily facial. <laughs> oh man! Uh, hey, hey dog, not receiving. Dog might be awake, so you be careful about saying that. There. <laughs> I said, given not receiving. <laughs> you gotta be, you know, easy with that. I'm fine with helping someone exfoliate or whatever it was. <laughs> Cindy said, I like Bob's. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like I yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, be a dang buggy. <laughs> Mr. Bob is a good one. I'm going to tell you that. He's a good one. Yeah. Brian's still watching. But see, y'all got dirty minds. I'm talking about the facial that JC was talking about earlier that exfoliates the skin and makes it have a glow. She was well, talking about facials, and I was saying that, you know. You see what Bob says? That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about, too. That's why I shared the link. Exactly. See, it's all in good, clean, informative <laughs> time, and you guys got gutter minds. That's, That's it. right, because I found another use for, yep. my, for my Bob. Battery <laughs> operated boyfriend. For my, uh, what, my, for my, um, for my, the wand, the wand. The wand. For your you see what, dragon? you see what broke back Bob said? Okay, now we're talking about face rides. So that was actually very interesting, y'all. It really was. I, I, mm. I had no clue. I had no clue. You no, know, I agree, Beck, and I think we should probably discuss this in private. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just get really excited when you find a use for something, you know, that you didn't know was out there. You know, I, you, I get it. I mean, there's things too. you'd That's be surprised what sure. all is around in your house <laughs> that probably have multiple uses that you didn't even know about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've discovered most of them. I mean, uh, I agree. <laughs> oh yeah, God. when you hear when you when you hear uh, Buggy having that vacuum on it, he's not cleaning his room, folks. <laughs> I got multiple vacuums with multiple attachments. <laughs> Just saying. Bob said he's Bob said he's never had a bad face ride. I have no idea of what you're discussing there. Face rides. Is that like poor Russ? Poor Russick in his show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube will have this one banned tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, I just started up my Thursday show, guy. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, YouTube is not banned because you're talking about facial. No. Yeah. Really? What if you're no. giving them? Live video. <laughs> that's a different story. I'm talking about the exfoliation kind with the uh, wand and some blue lotion, face cream or something. You know, you guys got in mind. I did, didn't I? I know some. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying. I mean, there's videos out there explaining how to use them, so you're not. Really? It's not yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you have any links to these? Are they on YouTube? I don't I know. Mean, all you got to do is just for research purposes, mind you. I mean, you just search it. <laughs> for research purposes. So I don't look like an amateur if I make videos. <laughs> in the morning, Bugman's new thumbnail is going to state Bugman in the morning is vibrating the loopy. <laughs> Your face. Today's topic is. Facials and exfoliating with the wand. Yeah, Tim from Catfish Dogs said just call to education. Mm -hmm. 
as long as you don't end up with a red nose. <laughs> yep. You definitely uh, you definitely didn't have enough lube if your nose gets red. <laughs> oh dang. Yep. I need to get oh, out more. Morning, Lisa Elliott. But today's not that day. I hope I can get by without freaking going to Walmart today. I'm not going in the rain. Good morning, Miss Lisa. Oh, my Good goodness. morning, Lisa Elliott. You have entered the safety zone. Hi there, Miss Lisa. How you doing, girl? You've missed the earlier part of the show. It was very educational. Well, I'm <laughs> glad I can educate y'all. About exfoliating and facials. They turned Buggy onto a new channel. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like having I like having a purpose in this world. I'm just interested what if you watch that video, I'm interested in what your timeline will start sending you. You know what I mean? It's not gonna send you anything bad. It's 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 there's nothing bad. There's nothing bad about it. Not at all. I, I agree. I'm talking about more educational op opportunities. There's all kinds of education out there. Yep. If we don't hear from Buggy tomorrow, he's he's exfoliating. Yeah, if you don't hear from me, if you don't hear from me, I was up late uh, doing research. <laughs> oh. Research and experiments. Or I had to call a friend of mine. Yeah. To share the information with in person. <laughs> Look what I learned today. <laughs> Look what I learned facials. to do. <laughs> do you know facials will make you glow and exfoliate your skin? Here's a video that says so. So we no, it, well, it helps. It helps build right. your collagen too. Oh, it'll build collagen too. It's multiple mm -hmm. purpose that lube there. I mean, I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yep. It'll leave you. It'll leave you tingling and like feeling all rejuvenated and everything too. Let's grow facial come, hair come. together. <laughs> you, you see what Brian said there, Buggy? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! That's yeah. if I make it. That's if I, I make it. I should have read that before I put that up there. Friends. Yeah, yeah, you probably should have. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry, Rustic. So I no fun. <laughs> well, I had to blow it up so I could read it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh, wait a minute now. Oh, yeah. You're put it back now. <laughs> put it back. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> put that back in the basement where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you're letting your kid watch this show right now, you are a bad parent. Bottom line. <laughs> Brian, go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that TV off, Brian B. This is not age appropriate for you. Not made for kids. <laughs> oh, no, Lisa. This is about the wand and exfoliating your skin. There's a link out there. <laughs> no, nothing about snails, Miss Lisa, but I'm telling you what, if I was ever reincarnated, that's what I'd want to come back in. A snail? Uh huh. I would pour salt on you. Mm. No. No. <laughs> Not when you know what snails do. <laughs> You'd be wanting oh, to they, do, they, do they have a lot of sex, do they? Like <laughs> Good hey, God, buddy. Leon. How you doing? No, I think she's referring to that they tie up for hours. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, they got, they've got love hey, darts. They're called love hey, darts. Lee. Leon. Don't stop. Explain. I, I explained it once on Miss Lori's live a little while back. And I, yep. that's why she did that because I still get requests for people that want to know what the love darts are. I remember yeah. that one. <laughs> love yeah. darts. Lord of the Explorer. Are yeah, you saying darts, D-A-R-T-S? Yes, sir. Love darts. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? So they can actually shoot you with it. Awesome. Yeah, the male shoots the <laughs> You have to go back and watch it, Buggy. I like her, but she don't want to talk to me. Pew, love dart. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you. She the size of that love yeah. dart compared to a human, oh my gosh, I'd be in heaven. <laughs> I'm going to Google snails and love darts today. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. So well, I you got to 
a pen and pad out writing all this down. Sure what I to do. look up today. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll have educational oh. videos on Buggy yes, Show. We will. I'm going to save them all and show them. It's show and tell tomorrow on Buggy's channel. <laughs> it's Friday. Show and tell day. Snell darts. Got it written down. What's the other one I wrote down? Oh, it's the Hall and Racing that Uncle Lou was talking about. Right oh, my goodness. Pad. I wrote it on the magazine cover. Give me something to do today since that appraisal canceled. Oh, man. The same one from yesterday? Yeah, the one that they said hold mm -hmm. off on. They, no, I'll get it back. They told me they'd send it back to me when the house is ready. they give you a, a timeline on that? No. Mm -hmm. The guy did. He told me it, it'd probably be two weeks. He said he may have to fire his contractor and hire another one to finish it up. They're dragging it out. I just told him I sure hope you didn't pay him ahead of time or give him any money for materials. If you did, right. those are gone. They done been snorted or smoked up. Mm. Yeah. For homeowners, if the contractor isn't driving a brand new hundred thousand dollar pickup, don't hire them. They won't show up. They won't work. If he is driving a brand new hundred thousand dollar pickup, you know he's going to come and do the work because he's got to make payments. That's what I. That's how I judge my contractors. Yep. Oh, yep. Eric's on the move again. There's that truck. I like that Ford truck. Yeah, that, that Ford? Ford's nice, isn't it? Two bucks. You're not getting out of uh, ten. He ain't selling it, huh? <laughs> yeah, can't say I blame him. Come on, Eric. Tell him that Ted DiBiase, everybody's got a price. Yeah, I was going to say That's he right. would sell it for the right price. He owns, a, he owns his own repair shop here, and he's a rich dude. He ain't selling it. He don't need to. Yeah, but if you'd hit that he billion dollar lottery, I'm pretty sure you could convince him to sell it. Well, I would want it, though. Okay, I've caused enough confusion here. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Very good, Lisa Elliott. I know that one. Uh, uh, Lisa's getting in one. on it, too. Everyone well, should have some rubber sheets for baby all night. Just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she, she said it's for easy cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Lisa. <laughs> I just learned about some different rubber sheets um, <laughs> the other night. Um, what were they called? I'm trying to think what somebody told me they were called. It's a certain it's a certain kind of sheet. Silk? Dude wipes? No, I'll have to look at it. Well, I'll sound like the trail. That's all you can follow them later. Brandon on dude wipes. Oh my goodness. Well you can you can hang them up outside and hose them off. That's the best part about them. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate all y'all coming up here, man. Y'all made my morning like. Use a broom <laughs> and some uh, dish soap or something. They'll, they'll come Thanks, Thanks them for the invite, Rusty. Or you could just buy a bunch of disposable sheets and cheap ones and then have the rubber one under them. And when you get done, just throw the sheets away. <laughs> Usable. Yep. Disposable <laughs> sheets like. Underwear, socks, wear them once and throw them away. <laughs> well, you know, we got to wear them twice, turn them inside out. Get them yeah, that's true. Again. You can do that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Another waterproof. Yep. What did Tim say? Eatable. <laughs> Eatable. Hide the evidence. Dispose the evidence. <laughs> yeah, we know what Tim does in his spare time. <laughs> Edible rubber sheets. There's an idea. I like it. Look, Tim's Why already. Why would you be so fool? You know that that yeah. you couldn't do anything else. Your little tummy would need to relax or something. Tim's yeah. trying to patent that right now. Well, <laughs> uh, I never received a notification for a show where I would have been here at the start. 
So next time I'll uh, make sure I'll send it to you. Well, I can't. I can't find what those sheets were called. Somebody was Bob, telling me about them, though. The brand or the kind. I think it's what they were called. Bob, you're always welcomed up here. What were they called? I I, I couldn't find oh. them. Okay, yeah, I thought you said you knew what they were called. No, that's I, somebody was telling me about them, and um, I I can't find what they're what they were called. I bought silk sheets one time. Got rid of them. Couldn't get a good foothold. <laughs> yep, I agree. Uh, those are facts. Yes, sir. Speaking truth, right there. Mister mm -hmm. Mister okay, Dog says, "Okay, that way when you're face down and butt up, and she gets hungry. If she gets hungry, <laughs> she ain't gonna be eating the sheets. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you know, a lot of a lot of serial killers use either rubber sheets or tarps, and they spread them out on the floor. Really effective." <laughs> Lord. That was useful information right there, I guess. <laughs> yes, it was for those of you who are so inclined. Good like, Lord. Black Widow Spider, you're going to kill your mate after breeding. Oh, and Black Widows, yeah. <laughs> Better than one green bugs that eat their mates after they're done. Oh, yeah, I can't think of them. Uh... Crane Menace. Yeah, them. Yep. I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah, Dog, but that's going to be on the last thing on her mind is eating those sheets. <laughs> <laughs> well, say, Bob, or Tim, you're doing it the wrong way, brother. No, he didn't. <laughs> Go in your stream yard. Down. Start your stream yard up. Go in your stream yard. Uncle John wouldn't do nothing like that. He's Uncle trying to get you up there on Rick. He was trying to get you on Rick's channel last night. Just give the give your go to your start a stream yard. Just start it up and uh, give your stream yard the mic access and the camera access. Oh, my grandson's up. Oh goodness. Oh, Bob Lou, don't even mention the word moles. <laughs> my goodness. Every time somebody mentions the word moles, I got one digging in my yard. Yeah, that's why I said it this morning. I was like, oh, I better not. <laughs> I thought you Wait, called him. I saw you holding him up. Yeah. They, uh, poor little mole. Yeah, they uh, Giga Billy coming in and said, I, I was live. And he said, I see a mole. And I know you don't, not in my yard. And I walked outside, and sure enough, he was digging. Oh, you little booger. <laughs> You what you end up yesterday. doing with him? Let the cat play with it. Yeah. yeah. I would my say cat got one out in the backyard with him. Home. He didn't Mold last very long. Mold him on down the road. <laughs> yeah. Mold him on down the road. There was a. I. I um. I. I was. Well, I won't go with the whole story, but. One day here, it was probably about two or three weeks ago. Um, I actually found a mole that was dead right in front of my couch. You got a cat? No, sir. I don't have cats. Oh, you my got dog. a little you got a little dog, don't you? My dogs wouldn't do that with a mole. Really? Mm -mm. I don't know. It wasn't there. It wasn't there when I went to bed and the dogs were in the beds and they didn't move. Um, but it was there. Cause I, at first I thought it was a mouse. Yeah. And, um, so when I picked it up and everything and then started really looking at it, it was an actual mole. And, and so I, I did some online research and yeah, they'll come in your house. If it's a lot of water outside and they're trying to, you know, find food and just some different things. Yeah, they'll come into your house. Huh. I, didn't, I didn't know that they would do that. I didn't either. They wouldn't last long in this house. Between the cat and little guy, they'd have about a five-minute lifespan, probably. I thought it was a big old dog turd or something, and they had pulled their hair <laughs> off around it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you done this? <laughs> 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 That's what I said when I picked it up. I saw it had a nose and eyes and 
you know, I was like, oh, well, that ain't a tired. You ever notice when somebody's got two dogs and one does something and they're both sitting there? Which one have you done this? One dog always turns and looks at the other one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Either you're going to tell or I'm going to sit you out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course, when I was looking down, I mean, it was kind of dark in the house. I didn't have all the light on or anything. So, yeah, I thought maybe it was just a just a furry turd, you know. that <laughs> Furry turd. <laughs> just, you never know. There are so many great clips I could get from this. Well, do we have, that one's at the three hour, 20 minute, 55 marker, roughly. That's well, you never know when you know, you, I mean, because if it was under the couch or something, I mean, you never know when you have a little dust yeah. bunnies or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what so, I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, if you really yeah. think about it, you get a furry turd. Yeah, you have a furry turd. Quotes and make a video out of them, tie them all the, together somehow. The word of the day, furry turd. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm a hashtag furry turd when I go to the bait shop later on. <laughs> We're not allowed to use the S word after April 1st, Bob. Sorry. What's the S word? Snow. Um, hey, don't be saying that crap. Exactly. I'm sorry. I actually used it. I should. It, rustic, helped. rustic will time you guys out. Don't use that word. <laughs> it's snow and work. That's the two words. <laughs> <laughs> don't cuss us like that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tim, you see how Tim put it. <laughs> 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 So no, for now. No. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. Ah, <laughs> oh, we don't need no more of that crap. No. no heck, I got rain. I don't want to snow. Imagine if this rain was snow. I'd have it up to the roof by now. And just like the <laughs> other day, J Dog was saying, "Man, it's raining. Oh, it's snowing. The sun's out. Oh, it's raining." <laughs> yep. Uh, Bob's using your uh, language there, uh, Buggy. <laughs> so Buggy says anymore. all the time. That's right. That's what Buggy there you says go. All the time. I'm with you, brother. I don't care neither. I'm old. I can't wait. I can't wait till I hit eighty where you can grope women and not get in trouble for it. <laughs> He's so funny. He's an old guy. Look at that on me. He's so funny. He's to grab my boobs. <laughs> the water. Yeah. Like, honey, if you take this haircut and uh, poncho off, you'll see I'm got a raging heart on while I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Not, I don't need no Viagra. Oh, 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 if it comes up much more, that doc joke ain't going to be a joke no more. Oh. And the low spot runs straight towards where the septic system. Bring drives. that boat. Bring that boat over there to the porch there, buggy. Tie it up there. Yeah, I may have to put the little boat in. <laughs> did you read what Mr. Sorry, I was texting. Did you read what Mr. Bob said? Yeah. He's, okay. So I, I just wanted to make sure that you read where it said snow, 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 snow. Hopefully, Rusty gets three feet of snow. <laughs> I don't already have him he, he, he lives up further north than I do. <laughs> I'd already dropped the hammer on him. That's right. I don't need no damn Viagra. Mr. Ernie, no, Buggy don't use Viagra. There's a new thing he <laughs> uses. It's called himself. <laughs> oh, Ernie. It's called a facial rejuvenator. <laughs> hey, it works. Poor squirrels out there trying to find his nuts, but it's all flooded. <laughs> oh, now he's walking through and he ain't happy. There's he's my like, oh, daughter. come out this morning and have some breakfast where I hid those little peanuts at. Now look at me. I can't even find them. 
I knew I should have put him up on the high ground. Oh. I'm gonna try to grow a cherry tree. Look at that, Hang on one second. Dang, that's nice. <laughs> then watch yourself pop all the cherries. <laughs> exactly. Nice I'll get cherries every year. Yep. <laughs> well, there's a cherry tree a next door to my house that we used oh, to live good, in. And, uh, nice. Oh, oh. I grabbed a couple of them when they fell last year. and He uh, fat fingered it. <laughs> then I researched how to grow them, and they got like a hard outer shell on them, and you got to soak that till it's soft and then it'll you can crack it open and get the actual seed out of that and then you sprout the seed it sounds like a challenge so i'm going to try it we had uh what are the trees that have like the little things that come up of them that look like helicopters when they're falling you know what i'm talking about uh, is that a maple tree maybe or something like that but i think anyway, so yeah yeah but anyway mom and Charlie sprouted one of them and grew it. Uh oh, new tire headed for the road. You better run, Eric. It's going. <laughs> Hurry. Run. Hey, Guerrero. <laughs> run away, tire. <laughs> Hi there, Mr. Eric. Guerrero. How you doing, Win? You'll say Eric doesn't run. No, anyway, sorry, mom and my running. grandson sprouted one of those and grew a tree, and it was, I don't know, probably 15 feet when we moved. Hey, Guerrero. Good morning. Hey, good morning, girl. It's good to see you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Eric ain't running after that tire. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's I, nope. I'm a bad influence on him, man. I got him on that I don't hurry thing too hard, I think. There comes some yeah. time you have to hurry. Like if there's a fire <laughs> or an emergency, <laughs> you still have to hurry no. some. Eric, Eric hurry to the rally. refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. Yep. That's a race. Uh, Ernie said Eric only runs for rallies. Yep. That I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna fix for dinner. If he if not there, he run for the refrigerator. Yeah, Denise, we got there's a heat wave fix to come across here and go all the way across. Good. Maybe it'll dry this water out. Oh, you know the humidity's gonna be bad. I'm worried about mosquitoes if it pulls up and stays too long. Yeah. Where I already seen mosquitoes this year. I was out. I said, I bet he would run into day. the Golden Corral. No, that'd be hog leg. <laughs> hog leg run you over to get in there now. <laughs> I like turtles. Well, shoot. I got a flooded yard. I don't know what I'm going to do today now. At least I got it mowed. I got it mowed the day before the last time. It Put your boots on. Yep. Walk around out there and pick up some night crawlers. And there's there's blackbirds out there killing it right now. You don't have a basement, do you, Buggy? No, crawl space. It's floating. I'm sure we're oh. over there right now. I got a pump, but I'm going to want to do pump it out as it's going to flow back in. Hey, Buggy, I, I want to know, do you ever get that cast net? No, I haven't got it yet. I need to, who was that, two stands or someone? I need to send them an email and ask them about it, I reckon. Yep, two stands, or stand two, whatever. Stand, one of them stands. You know, because it's a giveaway thing, I try not to ever bother anyone about when it gets delivered or whatever, you know what I mean? Yep. And if it don't get there anytime, then oh well, I didn't pay for it or nothing. So yeah, I'd, yeah. If I win something, I give them my info, and then I forget to get it. But don't, don't. There have been several times I, I never received anything, so I ain't worried about it. Yeah, certain people. Well, Stan Three said something <laughs> the other morning uh, in I the didn't... chat on the show that he hadn't mailed it yet, but he'd get around to it this week. I was on this one guy's show. I didn't even I didn't even win anything, and the guy sent me something. I just said, "Hey, that's a nice watch." 
I got a cat, got a cat from doing the veterans fishing thing they done that time. I went with uh, Chris and Kelly. And yeah. I was getting ready. I was going to order a catfish hat, and I was talking to the guy about something, and he said, well, didn't you get your hat for the veterans thing? And I was like, no, nobody said anything. He said, well, pick a hat out, and I'll send it to you. And I was like, hey, yeah. thank you. I love hats, man. Yep, Chris is a good dude. Yep, I love hats. I've had my whole life. Well, Ernie and May, you got to come down to where John's at and get you some. Yeah, Ernie. That, that cost of shipping skipjack now is double. Now, that's no, that's into that. Yep. Yeah, Bob, I'm with you. The postal so the postal office or postal service is the worst, man. If I ship stuff, I use FedEx. I don't care if it costs me a little more. I've never lost or had a late package on FedEx. Come on, That's you got to use DHL. I've FedEx. had stuff. Well, I think they're only uh, international. I've had stuff uh, disappear that never appeared in the mail, never found. I'm like, how wow. did that happen? So I think that's what Mr. Chad from Fields of Water uh, is, is DHL. Yeah, but they're they're more international shipping, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just blame it on DHL. Well, mostly I just blame it on Chad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the Postal Service is the worst. I, I mean, and it's not just one. I've had two or three things in the last four or five years disappear. Oh, I know, yeah. Ernie. I know. You know what? I think See, DHL. I know somebody's stealing them. Yeah, I think DHL is running pretty smooth this week because Chad's off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine. We had a horse pirate about two me. weeks ago in Risco. Somebody knew moved town. They had oh, packages set them. up on their deal. Yeah. And a lady come walking around the side of her house. There was some guy up there grabbing a couple packages. She picked up a mm. limb and, and whooped up. Far out of him, boy. There you go. I like that. <laughs> Heck yeah. You damn thief. I hate thieves, man. I'm like, in a town of 350 people, you go to steal packets off a of porch where everybody knows everybody. <laughs> yeah, that right. makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. They they went to his house and got him. He had, man, they said that he had pop knots, busted open spots. Oh, hey, she whooped a far out of him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He deserved. He deserved it. Then tell him, go ahead and call the police. I don't care. We're yep. both sitting in jail together. The police would tell him he deserves it. Yep. Especially from that town. What? This is their neighbors. Well, I like the ones with the ring cam where the people say, "Hey, what are you doing?" And it freaks them out. Yeah, or the glitter bomb ones. Those ones. Yeah, always the glitter like. bomb guy was the best. Oh, I've watched the videos the spray, where the guy's man. done that. With yeah. The yeah. Bomb. yeah. I seen yeah. one. Uh, uh, he uh, stole the package, and he was in his car. <laughs> he went to get in his car out front, and he yep. opened it, and all you could see was, like, on the window stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he and got that, out, and he was covered in that stuff. Boy. It is not easy to clean up, neither. Yeah. Oh, dummy. Then he I goes mean, he and tries it. to sue the people. Yeah, yeah, he done it right in front of people's house. Walked up there, grabbed the package, parked right in front of the house next to the curb, and he gets in his car and opens it. <laughs> oh, the guys in the house watching, laughing their butts off. Yeah, it, it happens a lot just before Christmas. It'd be nice to fill one up with poop and let them steal it and get it home and have it, <laughs> have it spring loaded in the box or something where it just shoots it all out of the box at them. Oh, skunk spray. Skunk no, spray. live skunk. <laughs> yeah, live that'd skunk. be even better. Say hello to my little friend. Surprise. <laughs> that box will be a live skunk. Yo, man. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you got you a new friend. <laughs> I don't think he likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, has anyone ever seen the guy that goes after the the internet scammer people to do like a computer whiz? Huh, no. Oh, oh man, he's the best because he actually gets into their systems 
and he'll be talking to them. And while he's talking to them, he's going through and deleting every file they have in their system. <laughs> you, you'll fit in, Babalu. You'll fit in. And then when he uh, when he gets ready to end it or whatever, because he'll keep them on the line for an hour, acting mm -hmm. like an old person who doesn't know what they're doing to try and get the money delivered to them, you know. Now, wait, uh, did you say check the X in the savings box? And so, you know what I mean? And keep them on. And then right when he deletes all their files and their computers go blank, you know, they're on the phone trying to trying to get her to give them the information. <laughs> he lets them know that what he's done. And sometimes mm. he hacks in and gets in their, their uh, cam systems or security cameras and tells them what they're doing while he's talking to them. And they freak out then, like, oh, shit, mm -hmm. he knows where we're at. Hey, CVA. He's the best, man. Hey, That's Fresno. Fresno. He's, he gets all money in this deal, and they freak out, too. <laughs> Fresno, the chicken man. I got rid of that. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I, I still know him as CBA. Oh, <laughs> well, John's awake. Yep. Who is? John Orr. Oh, is he driving this week or is he off? Hi there, Mr. Steinman. Ain't Kirk still looks like chocolate milk? I need to find a dancing monkey for CBA. <laughs> <laughs> Can you find him the monkey my science teacher had in seventh grade? The two spider monkeys that jacked off in the back of the class in the cage. All day. It was hilarious. Mm. You need to make one with a John Orr's face on it, and I'll put it on. Fish Nation to play it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, well, I love listening to those birds out there. Let's see here. Hey, Beck, I got I these one birds that come out. And it's still dark out in the morning, and they chirp so loud. I don't know. They've got to be close to my door somewhere, but I can't see them. Uncle John said I heard that. <laughs> There's a, this back door right here. It's hung upside down and it was done on purpose um, so that the dogs couldn't get out. So it put the screen on top instead yeah, of the bottom. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That makes yeah. sense. And, but that means that there's a little gap at the top of it that's, you know, I mean, it's like an inch and a half or something like that. Yeah. You know? And you know, anyway, um, I don't know if it's the same one or if it's, you know, some different ones. I don't know. But occasionally, I mean, it doesn't happen every day, but occasionally if I have the door open back here, that little bird, he comes and he, he like perches right there. And then he comes in the house and <laughs> he flies around the house. And he, matter of fact, he knocked a bunch of stuff off my kitchen counter. Once. <laughs> I took some pictures of him a few days ago and he was over there looking. He was he was standing on. I had some dishes in my dish drainer. And uh, there was another little tongs that you use, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he was right there, right there on the top of the tongs, and he was looking back at me. And I snapped a picture. Yeah. And he was like, "What? <laughs> what are you looking at?" You know. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I got. He stays in here, and he flies around for a little bit, and then he goes right back to that same gap. At first, I thought I was having to shoo him out, you know, try to figure yeah. a way to get him out. But no, he he goes. Right back to that same little gap, and then goes back outside. So I, guess, I don't cool. worry about it too much anymore. What's up, Bubby? Is he hanging out with you, or are you going in to hang out with him? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be going in here and here a little bit. Oh, but, uh, okay, yeah. I hey, uh, I, I just want to tell uh, Babalu, uh, I caught John trying to sneak up on you. I don't think he's, I don't think he's gonna make it there anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sneak up on you there. <laughs> See what Uncle John said there. You missed a heck of a show, brother. I'm telling you, it's been hilarious. 
And uh, what did he say? <laughs> Finally got a female panel. Rusty <laughs> snitch. <laughs> Rustic, you snitch. <laughs> well, there goes my grandbabies. There goes my daughter. Is the baby up? Oh, case is in there. Well, if the baby wasn't Have a good up, day, baby. Now, <laughs> after that yell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rusty, it's like I'm by at the end of the show, folk. I came here to see Becca. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mr. John. <laughs> what? Oh, I see how it is. Y'all right, Uncle John. Y'all are nuts. Uh, <laughs> see how it is. Man, his pole ain't that long. What are you seeing that I'm about seeing? My Uncle John has been hit. He was talking about the cable he's holding on to. <laughs> he said, come on, Rustic. No way his pole's that long. Oh, my Lord. That looks like that pole was coming through a hole. <laughs> Not that yeah. he was like on top of it, but it looks like it was going through him. I think what well, yeah, John was sticking over, and Bob Luke caught him and, and kicked the cable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you come over here? <laughs> hey, retired Rick. Rick. Hey, Wild Rick. man Rick. Oh, Rick. John Order, good to see you up, buddy. Rick had a pretty good show last night. Fish Nation yep. went over and invaded. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I said I found that gorilla thingy I was going to use in the short, and then I decided not to. I got some other plans for that. <laughs> I never knew really making those shorts was actually so much fun. Yep. It's very relaxing. I mean, especially like if you can um, make one that makes people laugh, you know? Yeah. I just had to come up with ideas for them, I reckon. You have to come up with some ideas for what? For shorts. Bob said it was a good show until John come and popped up. <laughs> Be nice, Mr. Bob. <laughs> Don't make me come over there and spank you. Man, it ain't Uncle John's fault. He plays with markers. <laughs> <laughs> At least he has a hobby. <laughs> he said, Bob, I'll spit in your ear again. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Welcome back, Rustic. Yeah, I had to go and optimize my phone because it kept going black. The screen did, so I had to go clean out the memory. <laughs> Oh, I'll spit in your ear again. Ah, oh, Mr. Bob. He said Mr. John is ignoring him and his feelings are hurt. Mr. Yeah, Bob. John, how could you go Bob. and hurt his feelings? They ain't Bob hurt said, that bad if you're in for a spanking. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> He's all in it for a spanking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me go get y'all set up in here. He said, no pain, no, no pain. gain. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Things are going good, making everybody laugh. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> need to kiss and make up. <laughs> well, that's the problem. They do that too much. That's why they fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the making up part's always the best. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a, you say so. Hi there, Mr. Trevor. How you doing? There's probably Becca, a video I'm of those right now. You're gonna have to do something so we can make up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate I hate arguing. I hate fighting. Me too. We should just kill this argument right now and make it I don't up. to be honest with you, I don't need to argue to make up. <laughs> Mr. Trevor says, 
I have a question for you if you're ready for it. Well, we won't know if we're for ready unless you ask it. All we, yeah, can do we, is might, you. <laughs> we might have an answer. <laughs> you can kiss my dark side. There's a lot of noise <laughs> going on in here, so we'll probably answer it. Yeah. Hey, Uncle John. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where he says, kiss my grits. <laughs> I have. Uh, I have Ramstein. No nope. Ramstein. Ramstein. Nope. Yeah, I think it's I've heard that. But... Huh. <laughs> oh God, Bob! Just the facts, man. Just the facts. Yeah, I've heard of him, Trevor. Trevor, it's been a while, but I the name's familiar to me. I spent a few years in Germany. <laughs> Sounds like Bob sings. I kissed the man and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you just Cigarette. check out what he just sat there and said? Now, why doesn't that song <laughs> sound as good with them lyrics as it does the other way? You know what I mean? Yeah. His cigarette lips taste like. <laughs> uh, I mean, when it said oh, when she kissed Dominic, the girl, oh, man. I kissed the girl and I liked it. It sounds kind of hot, but when you say it the other yeah. way, it's like ooh. <laughs> uh, Bobby Maybe it was kissed Dominic from a woman. What, well, Beck? I'm sorry. Maybe it would sound better if it was a woman that said it. Oh, sure. There you go. Sing it, Becca. I kissed a man and I liked it. <laughs> oh, dang. I'll be back, guys. I got to take a shower. <laughs> we heard that, buddy. <laughs> oh, Bob says he's going to. Bob says he's going to stick to women now. He kissed Dominic and now he's sticking to women. <laughs> I can understand that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go around. I'm doing bug man speed. Yeah, tell me if you think the water is coming up. Hold on. Where's my thing? Yeah, it is. Look at that right now. Pink Creek looks like chocolate milk. Look at that. The whole yard's full now. Mm, yeah, all the way back here behind the shed. Yeah. And it goes all the way the other way around the side of the house. Uh -oh. yeah, so much, the, the, the garage so sits up there in the yard, and pick up worms. Yep, the garage sits up high. I don't think it'll get in there, but I don't know where it's going to go. That's uh, 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 sounds like they need to come out there and clean that drainage ditch. Well, it goes from here. Let's see, it goes down about. A quarter of a mile goes under the road, and then it's not a ditch anymore. It's just like someone's yard with a little low spot in it flows out into the field. Mm. So, actually, yeah, it could use a complete redo, but if they do that, then the little pond thing would never fill up no more, I don't think. <laughs> Mr. Bob says, you know, John Boy, you can't live without me in your life. <laughs> I just can't go on anymore. <coughs> we don't get much rain. We didn't get much rain last night. Wow. What's well, raining here? I can't hey, Carol Bay. Come here. Come here, Kiki. Don't set off the rain. Y'all meet Carol Baskins. 
<laughs> Carol Baskins. <laughs> yeah, that's what my daughter found this cat's kitten. That's what she called it, Carol Baskins. All my grandson did. Oh, that's too much. Google did it. Did you kill those. your husband? Uh, did you huh? kill your husband? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carol. I oh, know. Time to get busy. I'll deal with you later, Bobby. Have a good day, everyone. All right, John. Later, Uncle John. Stay safe. <laughs> See you, Mr. Yeah, Earl. Be down. safe today driving. Have a blessed day, Mr. John, and you be safe out there. Yeah, watch out, pretty. It's like me on the road. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, old Rick had a good live last night. Carol Baskin. Oh. Yeah, problem is he had that just that one person rustic. <laughs> <laughs> you had a grease ball? Bobby, that's a little better with a small toy. Yep. Very grease he had, ball. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's not raining on everybody across there today. But wow. It's going to rain on the biggest part of them, I know. Yep. Let's get thunderstorms later tonight. <laughs> Rick said always got to be the one. <laughs> always got to be the one. <laughs> Wild man Rick. Rick is a member now. Yeah. He's been a member for a month. Also. Appreciate that, Rick. We were having fun until John Boy came in and started trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you draw it out, anybody. You draw it out. <laughs> Great Craig, Catfish Cave. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Rustic, I'm going to hop out of here. Thanks for letting me come up, bub. Someone typed the Morse code or what? You're welcome, buddy. Later, everybody. Titles hey, save that link. I will. If not, I'll just have you send it to me. Well, okay. I can. <laughs> Or have Eric or Eric or Buggy will send it to me. Yeah. It's, 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 nice. It. it's nice hearing from you, Miss Becca. Can I get an Amazon real quick? What do you want to get from Amazon? There we go. I, I miss hearing that. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, ice. everybody. We all like, like hearing her say ice. Uh, yeah, I ain't going to say that one. Everybody laughs at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, it's a little chilly. <laughs> All right, Curtis. We appreciate you coming up, buddy. You're welcome. Thanks for that. You know, Curtis got to go get him a bowl of cereal. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. He, now, I know I ain't getting no bacon and eggs, but I don't think there's any eggs. I know there's bacon. You can always, <laughs> you can always have thing? bacon and bacon. Bacon and bread and mayonnaise. There you go. Mm -hmm. He going up there to he going up there to find a uh, Eric stash of the peanut butter eggs. Yep. Peanut butter eggs. Uh, uh, they were all sold out before I got to them. I went to Walmart that afternoon, the day after Easter, and it literally every shelf was empty of the candy. Yep. Yeah. Someone's got to well, be yeah. buying that. And the Easter stuff, they got to be buying that and reselling it online or something. Well, you know, they got to make room for the Christmas stuff. We've well, got that barbecue already. I just pulled over and got me some bread. What's the next major holiday? What, 4th of July? 
they'll start putting out Fourth of July. Memorial stuff. Day. I thought it was Memorial Day. Oh yeah, that that holiday there is coming up too. They'll be putting out Fourth little July. flags and stuff like that for it. Fourth of July is my favorite holiday. I like to blow crap up. I know I'm going to regret saying this, but I got to find my Uncle Sam blow up, put it out in the yard. <laughs> Why nobody go say that? You, <laughs> I figure somebody be saying that. What, what are you going to do with Uncle Sam? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was sending out. Plug him in and stand him in the yard. <laughs> Catched. Hey, Buckman said slow oh. down. <laughs> Brill said, whoa, Rustic, whoa. <laughs> Put him out there and show everybody how to exfoliate his face. <laughs> well, that's how y'all do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Carol. What's wrong, Carol? Oh, sleepy. My favorite holiday is cat. I can see Check that. your bed, Rustic, for your blow-up. <laughs> That's the closet with the lock on it. Who said that? My favorite holiday is cat. Who said it? Marillo. Ah, uh, Marillo. <laughs> Yeah, I got to meet Brillo down there, man. Talk to him for a little bit. Cool dude. Yeah, he is a good guy, man. Man, he, he's from Iowa. <laughs> is he really? Well, hell, I didn't yeah. know that. That knocks him down a couple levels, I guess. Dag nabbit. <laughs> Mr. Bob says to check your bed, Rustic, for your blow up. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, goodness. Those poor blow ups, though. I mean, y'all stick them in the closet and under the bed, and you know they got to get lonely. Yep. Man, they got to get stiff. They, they, then when they come out, it's 30 seconds of fun and it's back in the closet. <laughs> I mean, they got to feel used. <laughs> that's all you want me for is to use me, and that's it. They use me for a couple of weeks out of the year and then stuff me in the closet somewhere. I want a real relationship. <laughs> I'm not just a toy that you can play with every now and then. It's like Pinocchio. I want to be a real Bowie. <laughs> I want to be a real girl. And quit inflating me so much. <laughs> Come on, yeah. let Rustic go to bad me. <laughs> sometimes yeah. sometimes I feel like I'm going to pop. <laughs> there is a, a pound per square inch rating if you just read the tag. <laughs> My babes only oh. get so big. Hoggy, Hoggy, Homestead. Ho Hoggy, Homestead. Hoggy. Where is that homestead? Yeah, I, I forgot where uh, where they're from. Well, wait a minute. Somebody I'm coming in. Yeah, it, uh, there's my daughter. Hey, Lou. Where'd that truck come from? Well, today's pretty much going to be a bust, I think. What are we going to do with that car? Glenn just said it's supposed to rain all day and all night like it is right now. Hey, Huga, I'm from up Muncie Way. I used to live just a little north of Indianapolis in Hamilton County. But I had to move back here to take care of my parents. I like what he says on his uh, about page. 
because it says, uh, you know, homesteading yeah. in the Midwest, U.S., gardening, <clears throat> rabbits, chickens, canning, prepping, simple life, cooking, friendly talk, not political or too serious, You're just fun with- and friends sharing. And then it says that the, his name means cozy, peaceful home in Danish. This sure. is my goal. I want to create a peaceful, comfortable home. Very um, cool. Yeah, I think that's kind of that's kind of neat. I like that. You know, I always wanted like just a small place that sit back in the woods. You know what? I thought I had him already, but I don't. So you know what? I'm going to pick you up right now. So I am your number set, Mo Wayne. Matter of fact, let me uh let me drop his link in there because I really do like that what he says on there. Is that where you live at, or is that just where you're from and you moved over to Indiana, something like that? I've been fishing there across from the stadiums and stuff. Okay, let's see. Hey there, Ari Smith. How you doing? Well, shoot. I lost him. Like your fish? It's got to be in here. Who are you talking about? Me? Yeah, who are you talking about? You said you lost him. Oh, I'm looking in my history to find this live so I can go back and... Because I can't get that web address on the laptop on the StreamYard view. Are you, oh, are you talking about a specific uh, live stream that you're looking for? No, that link you just posted. I guess I could copy and paste it. Oh, well, hold on a minute. If I, I, I didn't know what you were wanting. Hold on. I can put it in. Um, Hold on. I can put it in the private chat. There you go. Now you can just go from the private chat. Oh, okay. I see. It up there. Yeah, I didn't know that's what you were yeah, doing. I see what you're saying now, but I don't mm-hmm. want to hit it because it might knock me out of this. So I'll. Let's see here. <coughs> well, here I can tell you. Oh I got I can it. It's gonna knock you out. <laughs> no, I got it. So, Eric, where are you driving to now? I'm driving to Warren Farley, sound of Jackson, Ohio. He's driving to hell and back and he don't change his way. going to Jackson, Jackson, Ohio. Gonna have a good time when I get to Jackson, Jackson, Ohio. <laughs> More fun fishing adventures. F F O. Jumping down now. <coughs> yeah, it looks like it's maybe sprinkling up there right now. It's slowed down a little bit. That wind's blowing though. No, I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> Hey there, fun fishing adventures. <laughs> Rusty fell asleep. Mm. Oh, be in the US. Good morning, Heath. Good morning. No rain there. Nice and sunny. Eh, yeah. It's clouded up here, and that rain's coming right out from Texas that way. Boy, don't you all wish y'all could do that? Thank you. Looks like partial solar up here. 
<laughs> How did you pronounce his own stand? To, to do some crappie How fishing. Oh, crap. <laughs> Rustic, how did you pronounce his homestead? What? How did you pronounce his homestead name? Anyway, I just looked it up and um, it says it's Huga. So that's how you pronounce that. That's Huga. Okay, now what was you saying? My daughter was trying to call me. I was asking how you pronounced his uh his um Huga his homestead. It's I just I just looked it up to see and to see how they pronounced it online. And it's, it's pronounced Huga. 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 That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah and they just posted it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's why I said I did the pronunciation of it, and it says Huga. Uh, oh, what a day. What a day it's going to be. Thank God. Y'all see that cat up there licking himself. <laughs> Give himself a bath. I know that. Uh, I got to take that trash for my daughter out there. Oh. Man. Oh, take a trash out there in the rain. Hey, it's fun. Raining. I tell you one thing, the Mississippi's not going to be dry with all this rain now. Yeah. Um. So, Mr. Ronnie uh, Smith said that Hugo is a lady, so um, I, I yep. did. I mean, I don't know. There's no way for me to know that, you know, just by the name. Yep. I just said something. Sorry. Uh. And I think on the page it doesn't say it doesn't give a name either. Okay, there we go. Uh, her trash is out. She ought to be happy. Oh. Still right. <laughs> I'd like to see a radar map because I'll bet this whole Midwest is covered with rain. I can see the sun for two weeks. Real, yeah, longer than two days. Yeah. I'll say we had it here for well, we had one bad set of storms that came through, and then there was like a couple days off or something, and then the last set just came through and it lasted a couple of days as well. Matter of fact, I lost my power there for about five hours. Y'all had a bad storm. Switzerland County, you're down there in the hill country. Nice. It's nice down there. It wouldn't be so bad with that wind's blowing right out of that north. Yeah. It's chilly. You know, Ernie, that's what my buddy just told me, and I'm thinking, well, where the hell is all this water going to go? Because I literally have no, almost no yard left. It keeps coming up. Almost no yard left. I just hope it drains off fast so it doesn't have, like, the big spots where it kills the grass and stuff. You know what I mean? I had that grass looking good the other day. Yep, I'm glad I ain't cut my grass yet. 
Oh hell, if I didn't cut it, it'd be knee high right now. I guess it'd be a good day to take a nap. What are you doing, Becky? You want to take a nap? <laughs> no, thank you. Well, oh, fine. You don't take a nap, then. You stay up all day and be tired tomorrow. I'm used to being up. Not me. Well, I can't take a nap. This pop's going to wake up here before long. What he the did. heck? They got well, he was up last night. Chairs all crammed up. When I got up. I don't know. He's sitting in the recliner watching TV. And little guy jumped up at three o'clock this morning, acting like you know regular go out time or something. So I'm thinking it's five. And I get up and look at the clock, and it's three o three. And I said, "Young man, you gotta be kidding me! Get back in that damn bed. There ain't no reason to be up yet." So he went back to bed, begrudgingly though. Got a message, Mister uh, Mister Morello said he was up past midnight working on his radio-controlled cars and trucks. Then up again at four thirty to get ready for work. Oh, he's not anywhere near at his best. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess because I do things at all times of the day. Um, eventually, I mean, it's, it's you're supposed to get sleep. I mean, that's that's what's good for your body. You know, but sometimes your body don't cooperate, you know. Uh, hey, sometimes Mike. you got so much stuff going through your head that you just can't shut everything off. Do you race your cars and trucks, Mike? Like on those dirt tracks? There's a track over in one of the little towns I do appraisals at. And I come by one day and they were actually were out there racing. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, Bob Lou, I had to come back and let you keep keep gazing i know i had a roommate in germany and this would have been 84 <laughs> 83 or 84 and he was building a four-wheel drive or i don't think it was four-wheel drive it was like a baja truck uh remote control but it had a gas engine in it and this thing would literally smoke the tires it was gnarly and i think in 84 year i think he had like 900 dollars in this thing back then which is what probably 16 or 1700 in today's money oh really dude you've got to do some lives from there man yeah or make sure you get some good video footage because i think it's cool to one of camera mounts for your handlebars but the one my buddy had with the, the gas motor, he had a pretty good sized gas tank in it. So it would run for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so without, you know, solid. Oh, that's pretty neat, Mr. Michael. Um, it, it makes you, does it make you feel young again just because, you know, you're going back to it now too? I mean, it, get, it makes you have all those memories, you know, back when you were young. I, I love doing stuff that I had done when I was younger. And you're, you know, but the next morning he goes, again. he wakes up and goes, oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> you can drop a lot of coin on them little cars. I know that. Man, I ain't rode a bike since I was, I think, 24, 23. That's time I roll. I wrecked it real bad, and I said, "Yep, I'm done with those." Oh, I love to hear that, Mr. Michael. I love that. I went and bought a, a bike, um, but I, I bought a. I used to have it like a dirt bike. I'm talking about one for the trails. I'm not talking about a motorized one. But um, uh, then I went and bought a. Uh, it was a bike that looked the style of it was like back in the I guess you called it like the 50s maybe yeah yeah I found one that had the little rounded wheels and and I don't know I guess because I love the vintage stuff I mean it's a brand new one but they make it look like you know back then 
and and it had a really big seat on it for my big old butt. So I really, really did like that, you know, because sometimes those little seats can hurt your butt. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And so I really enjoyed riding that bike. Yeah, I agree with that. When you was 12, you didn't have to go to work the next day. <laughs> yeah, facts. You know, a, a dirt bike racing buddy of mine reached out to me the other day. And I told him I hadn't raced in a long time. He said, man, dude, you ought to come out and ride. <coughs> I told him I might. he has a bunch of land down southern Indiana. You know, I mean, like eight or nine mile trail you can ride. Out <coughs> yeah. And, uh, I told him I might come down and spend the week. I, I honestly am afraid to do it right now. I'm afraid I'd have a heart attack because I'm so far out of shape. But the only way to get in shape is to get back at it, I guess. But I know it, I sure wouldn't want to have to, the bike break and have to push it back home. Morning, Pop. You all right? I'll be yeah. back. Yeah, Mr. Bob, got a big butt in a, you know, lie. <laughs> this morning, it's raining, it's raining all night. I'll think it's big anyway. We'll give you a little extra shot this morning. I ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with having a little cushion back there. Yeah, buddy. A little cushion in the tushion. <laughs> nothing wrong at all. Where'd the lid go? Oh, there it is. Kind of glad my daddy had a flat butt. <laughs> I take a lot after my daddy, so I was kind of glad that, you know, because um, I don't want just a flat butt. Well, heck, you can buy butt implants now. Like I ain't going to put no implants on my body. I don't blame you. I'm neither. sticking with what the good Lord gave me. There you go. God, don't make mistakes. He's mad at me for ruining the perfect specimen he had built before. <laughs> oh, I, I love the ATVs. Um, Hoga, that's, that's one of the things that I love to do. I mean, of course, the mudding in them, but then I, I, just, I just love trail riding on them, too. Have you heard of the Hatfield McCoy trail system, Becca? Yes, sir. I talked to a guy on here the other day that lives right at the trailhead of one of the trail systems down there. And uh, I think it'd be cool to go down there with a side-by-side. -side. I think that would be the, the way to go on that because there, there's 1,200 miles trail total. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I know there's there's like a, there's more than a thousand. I know that there yeah, was. Yeah, I would like and. The only reason I've never went there because there's so many options to choose from, you know, different trailheads and stuff that unless you know someone, you don't know which one to go to. You know, and you're talking a span of, you know, three different states. Yeah, so, you pretty much you can't, you know, you can't you can't um you can't travel the whole all of it like you oh, couldn't even no. do it in two weeks. No, not like at all. This. But now I know someone that lives there, so that helps. I and because that was one of my bucket list before I got out of shape to go down there and go dirt bike riding for a week. And that might give me some incentive. I don't know, but I'd like, I've always wanted to go down and ride it. And what a great idea to revitalize a repressed community when the coal companies pulled out, you know, left them with nothing. And now they got this whole new economy based around, you know, camping and restaurants and shops and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Welcome Mr. Back, Bob. Donald. You're too sweet. <laughs> I'm going to go give Dad some medicine. I'll be back. Three nights go. says, case of swap butt after working in the rain all morning. All done now. Yep. Welcome back in, Donald. <laughs> ah, Bob Lou player. <laughs> you smooth talking fella, you. <laughs> Isn't that sweet what he's saying? Mm -mm -mm. Well, Bob Luke, something else, boy. I can't wait to meet him in person. Got fish dogs and how, dogs. how did he get his name, Bob <laughs> I didn't <laughs> know that you uh, that you uh, did a drum with him and sang to him or something. Or what are those drums called? You know, Mister O Ricky Ricardo. 
Bob, I love you. Bob goes. Bob, hey. Yeah, little bongo things. Is that what you did? Is that how you serenade, Mr. Bob? You just sit there and hit the bongo drums and sing to you him? Don't. <laughs> I just broke back Bob, Bob, Bob Lou. It's just, uh, and there was all this, it's just a saying. You need back when I lived out there when I was 18. I what gotta Bob let the stand for when you met somebody named Bob or Bobby. I gotta let the you like I'll be right back. <laughs> you called a Bobaloo. I ain't gonna say what it stood for. <laughs> Good day to be a duck. Oh yeah, a duck or a fish. Good day to be a cat too, because that cat's still up there <laughs> giving herself a bath. Look at that. He just just to get it. <laughs> right there. <laughs> now all y'all know y'all wouldn't mind giving yourself a bath like that if you could. <laughs> I was listening this morning. I think Becca was stirring the pot this morning in her own special way. <laughs> Oh, we uh Oh my at least my granddaughter's still asleep. Yeah, she's a good cat. My grandson named her Carol Baskin. My daughter used to go around singing that Carol Baskin song all the time. And like I said, she found that cat when it was just a kitten and they brought it in and kept it and he named it Carol Baskin and he'd go around singing that Carol Baskin song. I like. And for the longest, he, he, he chased that cat, pick that cat, carry that cat. Hey, Anthony. And everything, that cat wouldn't have to do with him. Every time that cat see him coming, he'd be like, oh, hell no. Because <laughs> he'd carry that cat around everywhere. She's a good old cat. <coughs> Boy, it looks like it's going raining good there where Eric's at. Rain. Bubba Lou said, well, I need to try and Get an hour or two of sleep later, everyone. Okay, Bobaloo. You have a good one. And we appreciate all your wisdom and glory when you come in. <laughs> Making a four pounds of pintos to freeze. I worked a lot in Arkansas back in the day doing with Silver Springs, Little Rock. Yeah, I'm down here in Manila at my daughter's place. And maybe some Mexican cornbread. I like Mexican cornbread. That's pretty good stuff. If it's made properly. Dang, we didn't hit one exit. Now we're hitting another one. Jackson, now. You're kidding, right, Rustic? <laughs> Your words and wisdom. <laughs> hey, Donald said hello, Eric. Frank, well, I don't. What? Well, the rain's supposed to be out of here by in the morning, so hopefully they are. For you? Yeah, they still got to come across to you, but. I can't take much more of this rain. No, nah, it's been raining on y'all for three We're days probably, straight. We're probably 
five to six inches over the limit for April already, over the average. Okay. I'll put it down. Anthony said it's finally stopped raining in Kentucky. Well, I don't know if it's finally quit here or not. I can't see. Nope, it's still raining here in Middle Arkansas. Yep. There's one thing bad about it when it rains up there in Ohio and Kentucky, it all runs down here. Yeah. We can't take much more here in Ohio. I mean, everything's already flooded. Yeah. Hey there, Mr. Anthony. How you doing? No, I can't. I I can't think. You can't take much here. Um, my place over there. You know, we're under a flood warning right now. This is this just that time of year. I don't like this time of year as much, just because like the grass just grows way too fast. You can't even you can't even mow in between. You know, because yeah. the rain comes too often. Next thing you know, you know everything's sprouting up, and you're like, geez. You know, it's almost up to my knees. Hey, morning, Uncle Luke. Morning. Hey there, Mr. Lee. Back up. You're still alive, and Uncle Luke up here. <laughs> up the top again. <laughs> uh. Wow, thunder. 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 Yeah, there's thunder in here now. Wow, we didn't get none of that. Getting some rain again, huh? And it has never stopped. <laughs> uh, not here. Thank God. Mr. Donald and Miss Lisa sitting there saying, Uncle Lou. Here. Good morning. Hey, how's, how's that grand grand boy doing? Is he still throwing up? Nah, I think he's better today. I think he went to school. Yeah, mine did too. He uh he throwed up for two days and he finally got to go back to school. And Mr. Ernie is saying, OMG, good morning, big bird. Mm, good morning, Uncle Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> uh where did you get a big bird? What's that? What, where'd that come in? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's my gas color, yellow. Oh, I see. Good morning, Lisa. Hey, Lou, did you see the picture in my backyard? No. Man, dude, it's my I got your backyard. My deck's about to be, or yeah, my deck's about to be a dock. Really? Oh, oh it, yeah, yeah. It, it's further up now than what it was last time. Oh, it's even worse now. Huh. Morning, dog. It's about 40 feet from my deck. Huh. Dismissed. Wow. Yeah, here, hold on. Uh, put it up. Show I was watching you. something yesterday. Yeah, hold on. That Alabama and New Orleans were getting hammered. And I just talked to my buddy. He said it's supposed to rain all night. Oh, shoot. What am I thinking? There we go. Oh, my. Yeah. I got Whew. no yard. That wood pile out there is where the, about 10 feet past it is where the pond is. What wood yeah, pile? Wow. Wow. Over that's there, a lot closer. on the right, between the two, between the trees, the big gap between the trees. That's I a don't see. Pile. Yeah, here, hold on. Yeah. It's not a big wood pile because we burnt most of it up, but that wood pile right there, the pond's actually about ten feet behind it. I still don't mm -hmm. see the wood pile. I guess here, I'm just missing it. Hold on. It's right. over on that. It's on that side of the screen. That brown out there. That water. Right, there. well, yeah, you can't see it. There's a big, it's out on the left-hand side about 
in the middle, left hand side towards the middle or whatever. But yeah, and it's it's not done raining. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think it's got into the septic system. Oh, that's not good. No, I flushed the toilet a little bit ago, and, and I could hear it gurgled in the shower. And I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. That's not good. No, no. So I stick told you, you, I highly you doubt it. Pump, stick you a sump pump down in the down in the septic system hole and just pump it out. It just go right back in. There's nowhere to pump it to. It's surrounded by water. <laughs> you know what I, I know, mean? But I'm, I'm, I'm saying water. you'd have to, yeah, to be able to um, use it some, you'd, you'd have to pump it out. <laughs> Well, that would entail me going and buying a can't size stump pump, and I can't see a that. Stump pump is about thirty bucks for that yeah. to for you to do it. Yep, and that's about four gallons of milk and two meals. I've dealt with a septic system my whole life. I've never had one before. It's or at my water. folks' house, anyway. But uh. It ain't my house neither, so I just call my buddy and say, hey, what do you want to do with this? <laughs> I mean, it, the, as, as much as the water keeps coming up, if I pump it out, no sooner as I pump it, it's going to keep flowing in. You see what I'm saying? In fact, if I opened the lid to the septic system, the water would go in it right now. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not on the well side. Even though it wouldn't affect the well, I don't think. But I don't know. I ain't gonna worry about. It. Okay. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know that it was. I thought it was just from the seeping in. I didn't know that. Oh you're, yeah, no, no. It's actually flowing in it. It's, yeah, it's, that your well or that it's your um septic tank. Yeah, is like it, right there under the water. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly right now. I don't know. Uh, but you know, I actually thought about maybe pumping it out, and then I was like, well, heck. If you open the lid, there's a good chance water's going to run into it. You know what I mean? Just get you a stain vac over there and start you know, soaking it up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Might take a little water, but dang it, you'll eventually get it done. I'm going to ask oh, yeah, the neighbor to true. the south of me if it's ever been this high or not. I bet it probably happened. It probably has. It could, I, yeah, it could have been. I don't know, but it's, you need to put some more dirt in your backyard, and that way you put it on a hill. Well, that's about two acres or acre and a half of backyard. That's going to take a little bit of dirt, and then I'd have to sow grass seed and smooth it all out. And I'd be better off building a dam along the creek there where it just keeps flowing past. I told you to, to dig you a trench. Oh, you see, it ain't even, gigability. So I could put an earthen mound from one side all the way down to the other, and then it would have to flow out to his side. Uh, I don't know about up, flow. <laughs> Donald said you're up Crap Creek without a paddle. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you're about right, Donald, to be honest with you. I'm getting that impression. Hi there, Mr. Billy. How you doing? Hey, Gig, you fishing today, buddy? Huh? Are you shrimping yet? I forget. I know you told me what day you were going to start shrimping, but you know I don't remember nothing. <laughs> I got brain damage. Yeah, I guess I could do some classes today then. I ain't going to Walmart in the rain. I can tell you that. I just woke up, picked shrimp half night. I don't. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, we got the necessities, milk, soup, and toilet paper. As long as I got toilet paper, I'm good. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not like you're having to build the ark. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a canoe, though. It's only going to last for a little a bit. kayak, it would be fine. What's going to last funny to see him out there in a paddle boat. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot like being down here in Texas when it snows for like four hours and everybody rushes to the store because yeah. they think it's going to be here for their entire lifetime. Believe it or not, they do. <laughs> yep. 
after the blizzard. They still do here too. Yeah, after the blizzard of 78, when everybody got caught unaware and was stuck at home for almost a week, they all do it here now. But there's two freezers out in the garage full of beef and pork, so I ain't going to go hungry or nothing. The paper will help soak the water. <laughs> I guarantee you can't get in the crawl space right now. There's no doubt in my mind it's at, at, up to the top of the the entrance there and it ain't gonna do no good to turn the pump on because it just flows right it just flow right back in if i do yeah so i guess i'm best to just do as REO speed wagon would say ride the storm out that's what i'll do well if we've got a hard downpour we got slow soaking rain here but if it was a hard downpour over three quarters of the block I live on, their houses would be underwater. Oh, yeah. yeah. A couple of the houses, the water would be in the house. My yard, for some reason, where I live at on that block, my house sets a little higher in the yard than everybody else's. So when they got 14 inches of rain at one time, I mean, the, the block on the other side was underwater. All the way around me was underwater, even the street, except for the my very front yard and about six feet from the back of my house. Oh, wow. Nice. You got lucky. You could always get Mr. Uh, Curtis to get his Oompa Loompas out there. <laughs> yeah. Gigabilly said, hey, hey, Uncle Luke, couldn't see your little tiny name. <laughs> How you feeling today, Lou? His little tiny what? Name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you thought I said? Thing? <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, I was like, man, and y'all thought I was teaching y'all some stuff this morning. <laughs> I'm feeling bug. Okay, brother, I'm sorry. And damp weather doesn't help it anymore either. It makes it worse. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, it's not damp up here by no means. Oh, oh it isn't? That's no, cool. Is no, it we haven't had... We haven't had rain in days. In fact, yesterday morning, was it yesterday morning or the morning before it was frost? Oh, mercy. Is it still cold or it warm up today? It's uh, it's going to warm up, but the wind's blowing, you know, oh. like crazy again. So, yeah. But they say mid 80s by, by the weekend. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mid? Same here. That's what they say. Oh, That's too. So it means I'll lay in the house and sweat because. Yeah. <coughs> Too cheap to turn the air so, conditioner on for two days. Oh, hell, hell no. I'll turn mine on if it gets to be 65 degrees and the sun shining in the front wall. Uh, too cheap to turn it on for two days because I think it's supposed to be down back down to low 50s again next week. So, Well, I grew up in a house with no air conditioning and uh, no radiant heat things, so it was always cold or hot in my house. Yeah. So now I take advantage of these modern amenities. <laughs> Man, air conditioner's been on in my house and it ain't shut off in a month. Oh Man, my. it sounds like a flower going through menopause. Menopause? <laughs> cold, hot, cold, hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that thing they call Mother Nature. Yep, I just I just miss how it was when years ago when you'd have a good solid winter, then it would start into spring, and then finally get to be summer, not this crazy crap we have now. Up and down, up and down. Yep. Yep. Good evening, <laughs> Sip Rose. Hi there, Miss Rose. Rose. How good you morning, me? sis. Well, there's the trash man. My trash goes today too. I took yeah, it out last daughter. night. Thank God before the rain came. That's why I got kicked out. Well, go. My daughter called and said, "Dad, set my trash out there. It's by the porch. I, they come in fifteen minutes. An hour later, they show up." <laughs> oh goodness, mine goes out on Fridays, and they called. They do an automated, you know, call thing, and um, the message said that because we had the eclipse, you know, that uh, they were they were not going to do trash pickup on that day. That it was going to oh, make everything go me. back one day later so now i'm not gonna have it till saturday but i'm like oh my goodness 
Yeah, there's for the eclipse. Yes, they closed. They closed. They closed down. It's they didn't have any cash picked up that day. Yeah, somebody taking advantage for a two-minute deal. Uh huh. Yeah. No heater on, no air conditioner on. Seventy-eight dollar electric bill. Read it, wheat boys. <laughs> I don't care about paying an electric bill. That's the whole idea behind working so you can live <laughs> comfortable. Hi, Jack Mr. Betty. Right. I don't have no heater on or no AC on. It's supposed to be uh, 76 or 78 today, something like that. Bob, I got some nitro pills that will help that. Where'd Mr. Oh, Bob go? trash, man. Did he leave? No, heck, I'm looking at the other one. It may be behind. I was trying to look up Sis Rose's channel, but I can't do it on the uh, stream yard, so I have to go over to the Yahoo feed and do it. And it just no, I it. said, where did Mr. Bob go? Did he leave? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he I said he was going to give him a couple hours sleep. Yeah, oh. that's right. He don't but sleep much. He's got real bad insomnia. Side. Did, you, did you finally wake up? I got to take one more little puppy dog out. I'll be right back. There we go. Where'd that Curtis go? Wasn't he up on the show earlier? He was. He, I forgot where he said he was going. Probably Gave a bowl of cereal, what Eric said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Try getting something since Rusty didn't make him bacon and eggs today. I know. I, I come down here. I ain't got. I ain't have time for it. <laughs> Don't say that. I'll end up uh, being in there cooking them for somebody. <laughs> Don't say that out loud, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't want them to hear it in there. They're awake now. Not that they could hear from here. Heck, they got the TV up on seventy and still can't hear it very well. Sitting within twenty feet of it, fifteen feet. Well, my wife's complaining about uh, last night. I was trying to watch that movie. Air conditioner blaring on this side. She got a fan and she's on the phone talking on this side. She <laughs> goes, I'm sorry. My husband got this TV so loud. Said, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that cracks me up. Like when the nurses here or whatever, because mom and them, it doesn't sound loud to them. So when she comes in and first starts talking, they, they haven't turned the TV down yet. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, y'all yeah. got to turn that TV down so we can hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Is it loud? <laughs> yeah, the neighbor called and asked you to turn it down about an hour ago. And they live an acre away. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> yeah, said, Budman 22, thank you. I will visit you now. Ah, no worries. Thank you so much. I got a swamp. I'm glad we ain't got alligators or snakes here. That's all I know. You may have now. With my rifle all night, waiting on them. Yeah. A gator tail is good stuff. Is it really? Never had it. I bet it would be. Uh -huh. it like a white meat. <laughs> he said, Oh no, that's not correct. I talked to Rustic on the phone and he has the TV blaring. <laughs> I feel like my TV was on. Hey, I can't well help it, man. You always call me when I'm watching my, during my anime porn. Anime porn. I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> Now my girlfriend used to come my girlfriend used to come in the office all the time and I'd be watching dirt bike racing and she'd yeah. say, You know, most wives or most girlfriends walk in and they catch their husbands or boyfriends watching porn. All I ever catch you doing is watching dirt bike videos. <laughs> and then I would say something like I should come by for a minute. 
Oh, we lost Uncle Lou. Yeah, I sent the link to Uncle Lou and J-Dog, so. John or I thought you was going on a run, man. Loading up your truck. You must be loaded. Yeah, there ain't going to be no good fishing anywhere around here for what, even down from the Ohio up, I'd imagine. Yep. <laughs> he said, I'm lurking. <laughs> Ugly dog lures, what's going on? Goose. More he said something about cups. How is it down there in Mexico way? Oh, somebody's in Mexico. Yeah, he lives in New Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. I thought you meant Mexico, Mexico. <laughs> hey, he's painting again, trying to get them lures painted up. It's been raining cold. Yep, same here. You can tell Eric he, he's in Ohio, you know, yep. and it's same there. And then Bugman over there. Uh, well, you're at Indiana, right? Yeah, I'm about two hours right almost there. directly east, or a little bit northeast from Eric and them. Yep. Okay, I'm back. I want to go. I want to fix me a cup of coffee. I don't drink it a whole lot, except. It's really chilly out there. And sometimes when I, you know how you just can't warm yourself up, you know, yep. you just yep. got to warm up your bones or your inside or whatever. So I, uh, that's when I usually will drink me a cup of coffee um, because, you know, I just want something warm down my throat so that it just kind of helps me <laughs> kind of warm up inside. Well, yeah. I like to use, yeah. because I don't particularly care for coffee, um, I use this sugar free German chocolate syrup that I found. Hey, John, yeah, I'm just north of Muncie, buddy, a few miles in Eaton. It, it's so good. Well, anyway, I just finished a box of it. And I was trying to find where my other ones were, and of course, it's in a box, and I was trying to find through, look through the boxes to see if I could find it. Finally found it. I put a little bit of the German chocolate you, and a little bit of the caramel. I know what you mean about that getting cold on the inside and you can't warm up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate that. Hi there, Mr. Charlie. How you doing, Wynn? To me, that usually happens in the uh, fall time. Oh, it happens to me anytime it's below, I don't know, 75 outside. I'm not a I'm not a cold person. Um, I like I like being I like being warm. <laughs> yep. Well, I used to didn't mind the cold when I worked at the cable company because I worked out in it all the time, you know. And you just I guess you just kind of get used to it. But now that I haven't done it, the cold just I hate cold anymore. Well, that <laughs> it makes your bones and joints hurt. I mean, you know, after, after you get older. Mr. John's laughing at below 75. That's what I said, man. I don't see how y'all people up north, man. I don't see how y'all can sit there and stick with that cold that cold weather for six months of the year. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with you, John. At 75, I'm sweating. Oh, no, man. At that's 70, like I'm sweating if there ain't a breeze. I'm just fat and I sweat, though. It's like perfect. Seventy-two is, is about perfect. Seventy-two if you're in the shade and the sun's out, it's awesome. That's why I said I don't even turn the AC on here until, geez, after July. Really? There's uh -huh. no way. I don't. Well, number one, I don't like to pay the electric bill, and then number two, I just I'm fine with just the I'm fine with just the outside air. So I open the windows and the doors and. And I would rather, I cringe every time I have to sit there and turn 
the AC or the heater on because I love the outside air. Yeah. You know? I love that fresh yeah. air. That's what I miss with mom and them because I usually, they don't, usually it's either heat or air. Very rarely is it in between here. And I, I'm like you, I miss having all the windows open and the breeze coming through in the morning. Well, yeah, and I can, if I get cold, then I can put a, like a hoodie on or jacket or something like that. And if I get hot, then I can just pull everything off and walk around naked. Doesn't matter. Yes, you can. That's you right. It's just me. Do that. It's just me here. So, I mean, who, you know, who's going to see it but me? That depends on if you ever find the cameras or not. I mean, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where I live. You ain't got no. Hey, I know all kinds of stuff. I just don't tell. I got people. That's why I do like my uh my place in Arkansas because yeah, there it doesn't matter. I mean, unless it's that big old city light up in the you know, up in the sky that takes pictures once a you know, once every so many years or something. Yeah. And then yeah, nobody there's nobody out there. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. I would love to live somewhere where I could go out and walk around naked outside. Oh, so cool. it, it feels so good. I would like y'all yeah, notice there. John John been come back dipping. in after Bob left. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been skinny dipping since I was already who, me? Yeah. Uh, her, she's still asleep in the bed with her daddy. And uh, she works nights. And uh, so I'm going up here to Sonic get me a breakfast sandwich. I'm hungry. I said, so wait a minute. Why are you there babysitting if he's home? <laughs> well, he, he works at night. So he's asleep. And uh, he, he's got to leave here like at, I think, 1, one o'clock or something like that. And so I'm here in case she wakes up. That way, get some sleep. Yeah, I hear you. I know next time, technically, I don't have to come down here if I do it again. I'm telling, well, I'm not gonna be there at nine o'clock. She won't even wake up to probably ten. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you what, though, those Keurigs are really nice. Yeah, I gotta get mine out. I got some mocha cappuccino pods I gotta drink up. This particular one here. Now I have another one over in Arkansas and I just bought it but last time I was there. And uh but the one here, I bought it for my daddy back, you know, I don't know, it's for Christmas or one of the one of the gifts. And he always sat there and said, I don't know what you bought that for. I'll never use it. Da 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 da, -da you know, because he always made it old school. And I'm telling you, after that first, I don't know, like six months. He told me, he said, I can't, I, he goes, man, he goes, I can't picture my life without it now. <laughs> you know? yeah. John, I can, I can tell my kids, my two kids <laughs> know all day long, but I can't tell my grandbabies, no, when they need something for the grandbabies, I, I do it. My kids are grown, they take care of themselves. Are you going to get, um, you said you're going to Sonic? Yeah. Oh, you need to get that, 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 the uh, um. The big breakfast burrito, the one that's got like everything on it, you know. Oh, uh, there's those, and I do love those. Um, they got it's got sausage and eggs and tater tots and bell peppers, I think, and onions and jalapeno peppers and tomatoes. They got all of that on there. Dang. Yeah, you guys are killing me here. I'm probably gonna have another bowl of live cereal this morning. Well, see, those are real. I mean, those are actually really good there. From there, I don't. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't like their eggs. As far as like the eggs they put on their sandwiches, they're the kind that you know just kind of fold over. Yeah, yeah. they got a pretty good menu there. Like but when they do the fluffy eggs that they put in those burritos. Now that one's really good. They have a meaty burrito as well, the one with just meat and cheese. But I like that loaded one. I like all that stuff in it. Can I show you my burrito, baby? <laughs> I hate that they're like five dollars, but um, but they're very filling. So, well, I looked and looked at the house there, and they had cereal, and I don't want to get the kids a cereal, so. Uh, 
see what they got here. And you know, you can get you can get even lunch all day there. I mean, you don't have to get just breakfast. Oh, that's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying you can get anything. They got an open menu all day. Yeah, they got Diet Coke here. They do have really good ass. But, I love, I love. It's like a snow cone, you know. Did you say cocaine? Uh, snow cones. Mmm, snow cones, blueberry, green apple. Yeah, can I get I a number like three, a like a large word. Diet Coke? Uh, what? Uh, do you make it onion rings? Mm, onion rings. He's really killing me now. Yeah, large Diet Coke, yeah. I don't even know where to get good onion rings around here anymore. I, I don't particularly care for Sonic's onion rings. They're too sweet for me. Uh, that'd be it. I've, like they, I've, they, put, I've, they sweeten their batter, and I don't like that. God. I've never had Sonic onion rings before. Yeah, is it, they're nice rings. and they're crunchy yeah. and everything, but they're sweet. And I'm just not big on sweet onion rings. I like Whataburger's onion rings. Yeah, they're, those are good. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have none of them around here. We have Sonic, but not here in Montgomery, in Indianapolis. So and I've say, never uh, ate it. Let's get Possum to us 1K. He needs six more. Well, he needs to drop one of them videos said, thank you for watching. If you're watching this video. <laughs> I've done a few of those. I don't do a whole lot of them, but I do. On some of my nature stuff, I'll do that just because I want people to um oh, hey, blue you know, onion. Oh. to uh to really like really look at nature you know and so i'll do some of those occasionally on my nature ones mr john did you see my short that i did on the eclipse i've got old miss scarlett johansson she's dancing and <laughs> she all of a sudden, she sits down and and uh, starts drinking a thing of wine and <laughs> looking up at the sky. Uh, but that's the picture I took, you know, for the eclipse. It's the same one I put on my Facebook page. But I did one last night of a uh, of Bass Pro <laughs> that has Julia Roberts on it, saying, you know, yeah. you know, when she worked on commission, you know, and everything, and then she says. You know, big mistake. Huge. I got to go shopping now. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go shopping. No, you don't have to go shopping. You want to go shopping. But I understand that because there's sometimes there's buys that are so good you just can't pass them up. I did one the other day that it really is deep. I mean, as far as it, uh, I used the song by Dermot Kennedy called kiss me and the lyrics that it, that it uses or the you know that he uses that i put on the short are uh kiss me like um like if we died tonight you know mm -hmm. hold me hold me like it was the final time you know and then yeah. you know it's yeah it's what say it was really I think I think that's the way life should be every day. Yep, it'd be nice. Oh, it's the the onion, forget the onion. He's yet. actually a he's actually an Irish singer. I've never had blooming onion before neither. Uh they're not all they're cracked up to be. I mean yeah, um, we usually, I mean they're just like onion rings, except for a lot of times when people do blooming onions, all your Breton falls off at them. So all you're really doing is eating fried onions anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of work to. But we um, used to usually when we go out here, we usually would go to, you know, a lot of the, the bars here have, you know, like a 
restaurant section or whatever that you can go in and eat. And that's what we would always go to places like that. That's why I haven't had a lot of that stuff like Subway. Or Hi there, Mr. Yeager. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Yoper. I don't know. I just I just don't see the, the big hoopla on the blooming onions. I mean, if you're at a restaurant, I guess I mean because they are because they fix it, but but um so I said They're it's a greasy. lot of work. Yeah, you, you get you can tell when there's different chefs doing it. Hey Mike Irvin, good morning. Uh good because morning. uh we ate out back one time that blue and onion man it was awesome next time we went did they overcooked it and it's like Ooh. hey there mr mike how you doing Lynn? and there was this little i don't know it was actually like a gas station but had a little restaurant thing ended up in wisconsin and they made the best onion rings i've ever had in my life i don't know what it was about them the one thing I noticed is it, it seemed to me like they would cut the onions and only take the big parts, you know, the big round parts about like that and none of the smaller ones. So the whole thing of onion rings was these big, big round onion ring parts. It was, yeah. They were unbelievable. I would have an hour up to get them. Mr. Rustic, while you're sitting there, look over there. I want to see what your price is for um, the that burrito, that breakfast burrito I was telling you about. It's it's not the it's not just the meat one. It's the one that has everything. It's what's the, y'all's the premium? Yeah. What's your price? Uh, let's see. The medium combo seven fifty nine. No, not the Each combo. Just the burrito. Five five oh nine. Yours is five oh nine. Yeah, just for the burrito. Okay. It's yeah. It's, it, that's about right. It's five dollars and something here. Yeah, because just the regular sausage egg is uh three sixty nine. Well, crap, I just got a phone call from the BA. Let's see what they want. <laughs> Boy, they went up on their prices. Oh, good Lord. Everybody goes up on their prices. Yeah. Uh, it's un- things are unbelievable right now, price. I'm telling you, I just, I watch them go up every week, it seems like now. Uh, and things that I've been buying every year every week for years you know when i go to the store i know what it costs usually you know and it's literally double double what it it was before well that's why i said most burgers now are like about 10 bucks yeah john you're right no dollar coffee you ain't getting dollar coffee nowhere no you, you ain't getting a 75 cent or 79 cent fountain soda nowhere. Yeah, you can still find those. I know I went from spending about 220 bucks at, at a grocery store when I would go about every two weeks to the last time I went, it was over $400. And basically the same crap I've always been buying. Why would you want to buy crap? Well, because it gets you really high, it just don't last. It just don't last long enough. Hello, Kaylee. Right, Keely. I knew it was one or the other. <laughs> yeah, it coke's a lot better, but you can't find it as much anymore. It costs more. <laughs> and I've never done crack before in my life. That's Did you put joke. salt in there. I've got this. There is a little bit of salt. I think there's only one pack, though. I can like use some extra. No, that's fine. This one's good. That's right, Mr. Bailey. Make right. you less than a too. dollar. <laughs> Might be a little harder for him out there on the road, you know. Oh, John went to McDonald's, got him a small cup of coffee. It was almost three bucks. I said, whew. Make you want to buy one and you can plug into your cigarette lighter or something and make you some coffee in the truck. <laughs> That's what he said, Mr. Anthony, that he, he buys the same crap. I was like, well, what do you want to buy crap? Or you can get plenty of it out in your yard. <laughs> what happened to the dog you go? 
Hey, some of the farmers that give it to you. And it's free. <laughs> oh man, we used to have people that would stop by because we would um we'd scoop up all the cow and they were, you know, out there, yep. all the cow patties, but you have to let it sit for at least a year to dry out. To use as fertilizer? Yeah, it's got because when you pile it up like that, it's got to sit for like a year before yeah. it's before yeah. it'll dry out enough to use it for like fertilizer. Cool. This old man he'd come by with his little five gallon bucket and he's like, How much would you charge me for a five gallon bucket? <laughs> and I said, Well, I said for the bucket itself, I'd probably charge you about five bucks. But if you want the manure, you know, then, then it's free. He goes, no, he goes, I want to put it in my bucket. I said, oh, okay, well, you can have it then. You bring your own bucket. Heck yeah. <laughs> like if you want to, you can back your car up. We'll put a tarp in the trunk and fill it up. No, he was on foot. Oh. I like to kid around with everybody that like would come up and stuff like that. I, I'm a I'm a big jokester. I love I love making people laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. We went on five hours this morning, folks. You don't have laughter in your life, man. I'm telling you. Must be a slow morning. We got 26 people in here watching. That's awesome. So, what is the number three? Is it a burger or is it a breakfast sandwich? Uh, supersonic bacon double cheeseburger. There oh, you go. Burger. You That's one it. thing I do love about like Sonic or um, or like Whataburger, you know, because they do have the all day menus. You yeah. had me at bacon. Well, Sonic has the all day menu for breakfast and, you know, dinner, lunch, whatever. I think yeah. Whataburger only sells their breakfast to a certain time, but during breakfast, you can buy lunch as well. I see a nap coming in my future today. Rainy, gray, yucky day. There ain't nothing to do, really. I don't feel like doing continuing education classes. See, the rain always makes me more energetic inside. It doesn't make me sleepy. Yeah, when it gets uh, cloudy like it. Well, heck, it's been cloudy for a couple hot. days now. What do you mean it's hot? I didn't really hot. Oh, I thought you were talking about the weather. <laughs> no, it's actually 53 degrees, 52. It's cool. Well, we didn't know you meant burning your tongue. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gordon Morris, Bobby from the very end. I was just. You know, used to, you know, Sonic, they would use that. We still, they still do here sometimes. Um, you see them use the roller skates. That's the way Sonic used to be all the time. Yeah. 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 And as I said, there's still, <coughs> there's still some around here that actually do use the roller skates. All right, Anthony, you have a good one. Catch a lot of fish out there. All Ooh, right, folks, this, we've been doing this five hours and we'll shut this down and uh and i appreciate each and every one of y'all coming and hanging out with us this morning but gonna have to cut her down we's on here for five hours and i appreciate everybody that came up on the panel and uh so everybody out there if you're getting rain stay dry don't float away and please be safe out there if you're driving around in it Eric, I'll we'll check the link. And we'll see you tomorrow on the Buggy Show. Yep, Bugman's. Bright, <laughs> and bug man. bright. I can't even talk today. Bright and smiley at 5 a.m. is what you'll get. Bye. I hope y'all all have a very blessed day, y'all. Prayers and blessings, hugs and much love. Toodles, y'all. Thank you, Becca. It was good to see you. society and that that's an attainment